and welcome to the Receipt Fish Podcast. Water. This week brought to you by Robin Hood, Goat, and Casper. I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. Bye. And I'm Bernie. So we do have, some people have fish water in Austin right now. What is so the story we, with the we, fish water? We went through a period last year where nobody in Austin could drink their water because it was dirty. Now, it's okay to drink your water, even though it smells like rotting fish. It but does? Correct. Supposedly- Parts of Austin have water that smells like, like basically seafood. And they say it's because okay. there's zebra mussels in the water line, and the water's going over the zebra mussels, and that's why it tastes- Thanks, like, Canada! That's why it smells like rotting fish. It's an invasive species. Well, how oh. are they not filtering out the- That's an excellent question. The gooage. Right. I don't know. If you're, and, if and you're tasting only- or smelling something, there's particles of it in the water. And I it's only it, parts of Austin that are having this problem. It's a very invasive species, the zebra mussel. I, I think gonna, what happens is they're getting into the pipe, and now they fill the pipes that are on this side of the filtration system. Because all the other stuff is like poop, and all the other stuff goes in, and they can filter all that out. What's yeah. the point in put, put the filter as late as possible? Well, I think like at your house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Do you have a cell tower, like, in your living room? <laughs> there's, a, there's a method to this, My Gavin. signal is so good. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have no hair. It's like right before each Do you have the, house, the best it? signal if you live right below a tower? I probably not. Probably just some effective range. Like being right up against a Wi Fi router used to be a bad thing. Well, did for, it? For did reception. It? Didn't it? I don't I think so. Mis- misremembering that? I think it's like what, what way the antenna is, though. Like if it's like this, you don't want to be like here. You'd want to be here. I don't know. <laughs> but some of them are like this. <laughs> the audio listeners are loving me. Yeah. I'd love to see a, a cell tower designed by Gavin. <laughs> Listen, we gotta get the antennas like this. There you go. Everyone's They're happy. just pointing in all directions. Those cell towers, I barely noticed them. And they are highly contentious. Like, Gavin and I had an argument about a storage place. What color the logo was. Did we ever settle that argument on the podcast? I don't know if we did. That was really weird, How could though. you be arguing over a color? B- well, because he was right. wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. The logo <laughs> is green and black. Okay. And I took a photo of it and showed him and said, look, it's green and black. And even he wrote me and goes, yeah, I, I just passed it. Here's my video of it. Because I thought it was green and white. Yes, you And did. I was convinced. And he was like, green and black. I was like, you're, you're clearly an idiot. And then he sent me a picture. I was like, you're clearly looking at the wrong one. Like, there's another one. And then I drove past it and yeah. it was black. And I was like, oh, my God, you're right. God, I got to be right. Damn. I got to be right against Real about but the storage place here close to the office? Yeah, the one right by our office. What, what color is the other one? Not, not green. The orange one? No. What, the logo is green <laughs> oh. and... Black. Yeah. Right. Unless it's nighttime. And then, and then the, the black part is lit up and it's white as balls. He's How do right. they make it white at night if it's black during the day? I don't know. They just put light through it? Turns out yeah, but <laughs> we were both right depending on the time of day. Right. I'm right during the day. You get to share the victory. <laughs> and I'm right at night. Gavin gets to be Those right Those are the worst kinds of argument settling where both people are right, nobody's wrong. You're, Nobody wins. You're, they could call you the night writer. They could. <laughs> Who laughed back there? <laughs> Get out of my set. <laughs> so, so I gotta say this about the zebra mussel thing. My water doesn't stink. Does anybody else's water stink? No. Nah. I think it's primarily people who live in far south Austin. Is that what it is? I think so. Okay. I lost ground. I got. The, I know some people down there. I didn't anybody, know your mom lived in South Austin. Stink? It's bad. Yeah, it's yeah. bad. Yeah. Can you bring some in? No, don't. I heard that. Well, like, I have a smell test. I, heard I, should that thought, you, I should have thought of this beforehand. We should. Have I heard if in. you wash your clothes in it, it's awful. If you take a shower. Oh God. Who showered today in fish water? Can we give you a sniff? Does it still it smell stink? like a fish bath? Anybody? <laughs> I don't they're, want, they're I don't coming like out this. with a microphone. It's like a I fish wash. Anybody, I don't know if it's anybody a, wants to admit it, it's it's co- it's ladder Cody for our uh, podcast viewers. Yeah. No, I I'm just saying that I went south this Saturday and it's nice. really bad. It was a birthday. I used to live down south. So you showered my since birthday and it's real bad. Okay. Oh god, it's real bad. It's, it's real bad. Yeah, people are. It's a big deal. And I have to say that the Austin subreddit. I was reading on there. There was a lot of funny. Those are very things. rational people there. Let me tell very you something. Nice. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The Austin subreddit, it has evolved a little bit. It used to be nothing but me spewing edge lords. That's all it was. <laughs> In fact, there was one person on the Austin subreddit. Can't remember what their name was. You could count on them to, to negatively over the top respond to every single oh, comment oh, made. Oh, it was um, it was my favorite user on there. They were very upset all the time. Can I just ask? What the fuck does edgelord mean? I've heard that term so often, but I don't know what it's it a means. nice way of saying basically incel, which you know, yeah, okay, that okay. culture. They're just <laughs> like edgelords are edgelords are like the they're constantly edging, they just always no, 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 no. I mean, that's edgy. what I thought it meant. They think that they, they were think, constantly they think they're fucking edgy, is what it is. So they're uh, always like 
cynical and they know more than everybody of else. Course. And they are the fucking scourge of the internet, to be honest with you. Yeah. That's probably one of the worst personalities. I also ran into the worst personality <clears throat> in gaming today. I can stand the people who yell and scream. Sometimes those people are funny to me, especially when they go like ballistic with insults. I just think that's funny. That's why I got Michael. I had a teammate in Sea of, <laughs> sea of Thieves for like an hour and a half who had the worst trait of anyone I could ever possibly imagine a game with, and I run into it all the time. He's the guy who narrates everything that he does. Mm -hmm. He tells you every second <laughs> what he's doing, and like 80% of the chat is this person. Uh, like 80% of total time is them chatting and telling you what they're doing. That also it's, sounds it's, like, it's like information suppression. Like you, can't, yeah. you cannot convey important information because you're just like someone else has their, their finger on the transmit button. They're just constantly overloading you. Yeah. I was, I was going nuts. Going nuts for him. But the Austin subreddit, going back to that, they, they have evolved, I believe, from being meme spewing edgelords. edgelords. And it's kind of even, evened out. Evened out a little bit. Our subreddit too has evened out a little bit. So you think there's people Our in there? Our used to be like, you know. It like, has its moments. It has its moments. Yeah. It's, I think it's evening out. So uh, what percentage of the Austin subreddit do you think has had sexual intercourse? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> is that That's a weird qualifier. <laughs> yeah. The, I well, know you said there were incels. They're well, yeah. all edging all the time. I just think you know when you see, when, uh. when you run into it. <laughs> like, Almost. It, it doesn't very often come up on the Austin subreddit. <clears throat> where there's a mention of like, you can always tell whether there's a post about a female personality or something, and all these people show up just mad for no reason. Just Barbara, have you ever experienced this? What? <laughs> it's just it's weird. Like even just appearing on camera and being female is it angers some people. You are just, have a, of a different set of standards. Right. Someone. Just, it's not. It's not hard though. It's just yeah. Be funny. Be pretty. Be genuine. And be good at whatever you're doing. Be nice, That's but available. also funny, but not trying to be funny. <laughs> um, talk, but not too much. Don't interrupt. Don't talk too much. Mm -hmm. Don't be boring. Um, contribute, but not too much. <laughs> um, what else? Never um, date anyone. <laughs> don't ever say anything bad about anyone or else you're a bully. Be uh, single. It's a line I single. like to walk every day. Yeah. You? Yeah. I, I had someone, I, I had a, a You've really- You've got it easy, you're made for the internet. I had a really weird encounter, I have a face for the internet for sure. Um, <laughs> I had a really weird encounter the other day. Internet radio. And I still, like, don't know what to think of it. Back uh, it was all text. A few, a few days ago, I was out and uh, I was driving to the liquor store. And someone was texting me while I was driving. I think it was you. I think you were texting me, Bernie. I'm pointing at Bernie. I think Bernie was texting me while I was driving. How dare you? I was and distracting him while he's driving. Well, no, I, I, <laughs> the point is, I didn't look at my phone. I parked, and then I was like, my phone was buzzing, I need to to look and see who was texting me. So I get, as I'm getting out of my car, I pull my phone out of my pocket, and I'm looking at it, and I close the door. I start walking to the liquor store, and I'm with Esther. We're both walking along to the liquor store, and I'm like texting, and uh, there was a guy standing there who I'm walking by, and he's like trying to get my attention, and he goes, hey, uh, good luck. And I'm like, I just like give him a look, <laughs> and I go back to, to my texting, and uh, as I'm walking by him, he goes, you know what I mean good luck about, right? And he's like, I don't even turn around, I'm still texting. And then he goes, Orientals, <laughs> and I stop and I look at Esther. What the fuck? And I'm like, is he still talking to us? <laughs> I was like, and then as I look at him, and he's like, just looking at us. I'm like, was he calling you guys? I don't Orientals? know. Like, so he was getting your luck. attention with Orientals. Yeah. Was or like, was he saying good luck with the Orientals? I don't know. Or was he yeah. saying right? Hey, Orientals, good luck. I don't know. And so I just walked into the liquor Did store. Did he like wish you good luck because your wife is? I don't. Like, whatever. Like, I was like, Asian? I just don't what? know what to think about the whole situation. I walked in and I was, and then we went into the store and it's just like, yeah, let's not walk back that way to the car. I was like, yeah, let's go, <laughs> let's go a different way to get to the car when we leave the store. It was like, I would have gone out the same way to get clarity on what he meant. <laughs> it, was, it was just such a weird thing. And I like, because I was out of it because I was texting, I, I wasn't really paying attention. And it was like, even the way he said it, like, kind of sing song, it made me think of like, warriors come out and play. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Orientals. By the way, for the record, apparently Gus goes to the liquor store at 11:46 on a Friday a.m. <laughs> yeah, so, gotta get your. Don't know what you're no, doing. It wasn't that. Time. It wasn't that time then. Was it Wednesday at six o'clock? <laughs> Maybe that was it. <laughs> Wednesday at 6:38. Maybe that was it. Yeah, you took you 19 minutes to reply to me. It's quite I mean, a journey. Acceptable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that how far you got to go to get booze? It's close. Maybe we're somewhere else first. I'm surprised you don't get booze delivered. I do, but. 
But sometimes it's, you run out. Well, no, it's just it's such a racket when you get it delivered. They charge so much more. I can't in good conscience pay that. I'm like, I know it's way cheaper if I just go get it. Well, they per journey, but why don't you just order like a hundred boozes? Oh, that's a good idea. Do you but ever, they gotta store it. Do you guys you ever cabinets? like favor or Postmates or do whatever like food that's across the street from you? No, because you don't feel like getting out of the house. <laughs> There's nothing near me. I, I used to yeah. live in a place where I could walk everywhere. There's nothing around me. What do you prefer? I just like my house now, so I'm happy yeah. with it. I do like the old house. The old house was small, though. You know, it was like it was literally just one room too small. No yeah. bedroom door. Yeah, yeah, my old place there was no bedroom door. Yeah, yeah. it was just a loft. <laughs> so a great, great place for Game of Thrones night, though. A great place for Game of Thrones yeah. night. We should do that again. Yeah, you... would you come to Game of Thrones? He won't come. No. Gus won't come because people talk. Blaine dropped out because people talk. It's just, uh, so we're losing everybody. Yeah, you know, it's the talking thing. Okay, it's the talking thing. Now, <laughs> after this, you're going to tell me who's talking, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna. We're gonna solve this problem. I feel like, I feel like I mentioned this last week. It's always been yeah. Miles, but I feel like Miles knows now that he's the talker, so he's actually yeah. not the talker. See, I've already solved the problem moves on. by not showing up. What? Well, yeah, you I said know, you're gonna solve the problem. You there. The problem's already solved. Guess. Let me let me be honest Guess. with you. Guess or Perfectly Guess? honest. I invite you to everything and never expect you to come. You're the only person that I do that with. Thank you. I 100 of the things I do, I invite you. 100 of the time, you don't show up, and a, it's a acceptable. Of, One lunch. A lot of a lot of the times. <laughs> It's like especially for like New Year's, I can't go just because my dog's a mess for New Year's Eve with fireworks and stuff. Yeah, just put it, give it drugs and leave. I do give him drugs. He's still a mess. Is there like can you make like a soundproof little room? Yeah, for like him? bricks. So make a little I, was, brick I was talking and to someone recently, and they suggested putting him in a tub, like in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like an echo. <laughs> right. That was like it doesn't that make sense to me. What if you had a square cube room and it was pillows all over the walls until it was just like a little slot? And you could have shoved the dog in. You can't move. It's and like, then dog, the we door. need you to paint the walls and the ceiling <laughs> and see how many coats it takes before you can't move in here anymore. Dog. There you go. The, and I also invite you, knowing you're not going to come, because I know you don't even want to be invited. You really don't even care. But I still invite you anyway because I just on the off chance it's like a lottery. Ticket. I've shown up before. You, yeah, yeah, it's, it's rare. Right. It's rare, but you'll show up. And I just, I was like, it's like, it's like throwing the lure out there and see what happens. Thank you, I appreciate it. But. On, if someone says no to something like two or three times to me, I stop inviting them. And there's this weird trend <laughs> online where people say, I'm an introvert, but that doesn't mean I don't want to be invited places. I still want to be invited. I just don't want to go. It's like, fuck you. I watched this whole video that someone put out. I think it was trending on YouTube about that kind of person. Yeah. Like it's, FOMO, it's, but introvert. It's people who are introverted and flake on all plans, but they want to be included. Right. So like they feel FOMO if they're not invited, but then when they do get invited out, they don't show up or they cancel last minute or whatever it is. So people stop inviting them. It's an off demand. Yeah. And it, so it's like this, yeah, it's it's wanting both sides. Because it's like, it's like the thing of, I don't want to feel left out, but I'm okay with everyone else feeling rejection constantly. <laughs> yeah. Constantly put yourself out there and say, do you want to come to this thing? And they go, nah. It's like they want the chance to say no to it. Right. Yeah. It's like I don't get why you can't be empathetic for people that you're having to I, say no to. hundred percent of the time would rather someone just tell me no in the first place or tell me that they oh, can't make it. Oh, as opposed to flake? Yeah. I think that's I think that's more of a problem in your generation, the flaking yeah. thing. Like, I, I guess people flaked when we were younger, Gus, but everything you did, you did via voice call yeah. when we were teenagers in more, college. Yeah, face to f or like a lot more well, personal connection. You had to meet yeah. places and tell people you're going to be there, so... If you couldn't get, you could, it was easy to not get hold of someone. If you didn't want to get help, like someone to get hold of you, you just don't answer your phone and that was it. Right. You yeah. know, there was no text or email, no red receipts and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. maybe we flaked just as much. We just did it properly. I have a new turn rule. Off your, what was, what? Turn off your answering machine. I couldn't remember the word answering machine. Really? Wow. wow. I was like, I, I kept thinking voicemail thing. Did you have a <laughs> machine with a tape? Yes. Yeah. My new rule is I will never make plans while at other plans that involve drinking. Cause you oh, don't cause remember? yeah. Because everyone's like, yeah, we should do this tomorrow. Yeah, woo. -hoo. And I'm just like, no, we won't do it. So you're drinking right Good now. Call. So if I'm like, hey, we should hang out, you'll be like, yeah, but also don't do that on the podcast. I'm not allowed to. Well, we're still at work though. Yeah, but you're drinking. I guess. Well, so, yeah, <laughs> you find the. I don't know. If I'm hammered, then I okay. don't. I don't need to make plans with me because I probably won't do it. <laughs> gotcha. And then I'll feel bad about it because I'll be up for it in the moment. I'll be yeah. like, hell yeah. Gavin and I are like 100, percent but we don't go out that often. But when, like, every what, what few months, mean? every few months, I'm just saying we have a high, like, batting average. 100% is more than high. No, I'm saying, but we don't go out that much. Doesn't indicate that there's a lot. 100% of one is one. But, what? I don't understand your I point. I understand what you are saying, Gus. Yeah. 
you really don't understand this? If I say we don't go out that much, meaning I don't, we don't invite each other out that much. But every time I know if I invite Gavin somewhere, he'll he'll come. Hell yeah. Okay, you're 100 percent with each other. I understand now. Okay. What do you mean? We 100 percent of our time we spend you together. Would, you would always go out. The you're 100. How much you do parents pay for that math 100%. camp? <laughs> I think their money back. State funded, baby. You paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> Was it really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Made, made possible by generous grant from the National Science Foundation. Oh, national. Maybe that's why he said good luck with the Orientals. Maybe he knew you were going to math camp. <laughs> He wow. just made the he's, assumption. A he's a time traveler. When was Orientals last used? Uh, probably in the late term? 1800s was probably the last time it was used in an yeah. acceptable uh, capacity, guess, if I had to guess. Do they still use that term to describe rugs? I yeah, I think Oriental goes with things, things, and Asian goes with people. That's what I, I believe that learned is correct. was the nuance, but I, I don't think anybody uses Oriental. What about yeah. a robot? <sighs> like, what? like the, that, like the, the Sony Ibo? No, yeah, the, that, the uh, Honda guy that th that's been really underground since those dogs from Massachusetts have started going around. The Boston Dynamics. The Boston Dynamics one, yeah. Oh, the thing of that thing opening the door. Fucking. And creepy. Then pulling it back. And Fucking like, creepy. Fuck right? off, yeah. And like holding it with its foot. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. Why well, don't teach? That's anything. gonna be the last thing someone sees in their life one day. That dog opening a door and sticking its leg in to open the door. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that episode of Black Mirror with Metalhead. Oh yeah. Wasn't that- that's a dog. Yeah, it was like a little dog thing. Even the Velociraptor didn't put his foot in the door. Mm -mm. No. It was like- And that had, was a clever girl. Yep. And it had like a <laughs> lever door handle <laughs> that pushed in. Yes. Like, that was stacked for that raptor getting in that door. This thing is like, everything's working against it. A lot of people don't like that Will Smith is blue. People overreact to shit. Every week there's some overreaction. I feel bad. I feel like the internet is so vocal at this point that I feel bad for anyone trying to make anything. It was just so you... shocking. It was a thing for me. It was like, I... Well, what'd you expect? Th that poster came out with him <laughs> not blue, and people were throwing a shit fit because he's the genie and he's supposed to be blue. Well, the and genie can be whatever blue. color he damn wants. He wasn't always blue in Aladdin, the original. But then he comes out blue because everyone's bitching about it, and now everyone's bitching that he's blue! Wait, the genie's blue in Aladdin, the Disney one. Yeah, what are you talking this about? This is the Disney one as well. Also, yeah, but he can make himself- he makes himself into a man at one point, doesn't he? No. Does he? Is what? the genie ever not blue? This is a genie sometimes not I'm blue. Getting, I'm getting yeah. nose over here. What? Yeah. When? When? He, when he sings the second song. He's yeah, he's bit. kind of like a skin color. Oh. Oh, that's like, right. Yeah, like, yeah, he makes yeah, himself yeah. whatever the goddamn he wants. Kinda which tan. makes sense why he's sometimes not blue. But he made himself blue. It's faithful. Like if, if they did the Disney thing and it, they made a green genie or a red one, everybody like that's not accurate. That's awful, you know. Or if they like they recast Simba as a leopard, people would be upset by that. They're like, you know, they grew leopards up. Leopards aren't this. king of the jungle. What? Leopards are not king of the jungle. Neither. By the way, no lions live in jungles. Just so you know. <laughs> but still, the king of it. They're too good to live in the jungle. They they're live. Like, they live in the the nice part of the. They're managing world. remotely. Yeah. I just don't think they should ever be. Remaking certain movies, like especially Aladdin. Bullshit. Like, they're never remake gonna do it. it. Right. Keep making everything. They're never gonna it. do Did it. Did you right. like the Beauty and the Beast remake, dude? I didn't. Oh, actually. that movie made so much fucking money, Barbara. Yeah, that was like greenlit every live action yeah. adaptation of every movie. Like, I mean, ever. here's the thing. I'll see them all, cause I'm a slut for Disney. <laughs> <laughs> That's our title. Yeah. Slut for Disney. I just love how everyone was perfectly quiet when she said that. <laughs> I like I seeing stuff with a new interpretation, and you get the nostalgia because you were little when you watched it, and I like it. But the, yeah, they need to remake the Matrix. Can you imagine how good the Burly Brawl would be today? No, that does not hold up very well. They did so much to the Burly. Well, yeah, the Burly Brawl. But in the first movie, they did so much to make it practical that they wouldn't do that again. They wouldn't do Time Slice again, probably. I think the second and third one could stand for a reboot, and I, I would take a reboot of there's, the first one. There's a couple of things in the first one that look rough that need to be updated. Well, just let other people scenes. go into that universe. What, what? I mean, get let other people go into the Matrix oh, universe. Yeah. Like you know? the Animatrix? There was some good stuff in the Animatrix. Yeah. yeah. The thing going into his belly button looks like shit. And all, all the stuff also, in the real world When they possess people like sometimes, like when uh, <laughs> Neo possessed that one agent and he gets like all big, like it, it looks like a, like the cover of an Animorphs <laughs> software box. But I think it's meant to look like that. It's meant to look like a terrible glitch. It's not meant to look man. like photorealistic it looks while so it's glitching. low res. Well, yeah. <laughs> Have you done the, uh, the, for slow-mo guys, have you done the helicopter crashing into the glass, that warble, like, ripple? Oh. Yeah, we, well, we didn't do it with a helicopter. You're right. We did it with a hammer. <laughs> it's and, real. And you can see the ripple. Yeah? Yeah, where was that one? Was that the TV one? No, I just threw a hammer into a piece, into a mirror. Because well, I feel like I've seen it. It's glass liquid, right? <laughs> Listen, Mike Hurdle backed me up on this. <laughs> 
while you were busy at math camp, <laughs> we were in history class. We were in history camp. <laughs> I'm gonna make fun of you forever for that. That's a, that's a thing they taught us. It's even listed. It's like there's so many pages that have to clarify whether or not it's a liquid or not. <laughs> I don't know that I'm wrong. That's you also are totally wrong. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What does that mean? He thought he's right, and that Gus is right. I mean, we, we taught a bunch of stuff that's wrong. <laughs> Like the taste buds being in different areas of your tongue. Uh, pardon me. Wow. Right into the mic. Is that, that not true? One? Different parts of your tongue don't taste different stuff? Yeah, it's just a lie. Is it? Or how well, I mean, you can test it out by dropping a piece of salt in multiple areas of your tongue. Guess Isn't what? That it's what you salty do? everywhere. Isn't that what you do? What? Like, don't they test that, like, in that way? But if I- if you stick your tongue out all the way and I put a raspberry, like, right there. Yeah. Like, could you taste that? She went all the way to the back of her mouth. All the way. back of the, it was back of the tongue. Probably. You think you could taste it? Yeah. I don't know about that. I feel like they're more sensitive on the, on the tip. Well, maybe, but I th I'm saying everything's more sensitive on the tip then. It's not like... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I made a post because it was before this Aladdin thing I was talking about. I wish people got useless Reddit karma for, for voting. <clears throat> voting, because then they might actually go do it. Because there's, there's... It's amazing what people get motivated to do for... No, or, knowing yeah. it's not going to go anywhere, no effect. You know what the, uh, in fact, let's do this. Last big outrage before Aladdin was blue, last big outrage before that was that they didn't play a Spongebob song at the halftime show. Did we ever talk about that? Everyone was, no. Everyone was fucking furious about this thing, which as far as I know, was never actually promised. Like, they invented the thing, got Excited about it, and then it didn't happen, and then and they, they were, were mad. Off. Well, I think there was a promotional thing where someone kind of teased that there might be something SpongeBob related. Yeah, but I mean, they did something Sponge. I, when I watched, I watched the Super Bowl. I saw the halftime show. I saw like that little bit of SpongeBob. I, was like, I saw oh. none of it. By I the thought, way, that's nice. They at least acknowledged them. No, that was maybe the worst thing they could have done. Apparently, because everyone was fucking furious. I mean, there were a bunch of football fans know what SpongeBob is, though. I oh, think God, so. No. I, would, I would think so. I'm not thinking a lot of SpongeBob fans would show up. Not, like, listen, I don't oh. know what song they're gonna play. I don't know this episode. I know who SpongeBob is, and Squidward, and the star guy Patrick. I know that guy. They live in a pineapple. I mean, they probably didn't do it because it would have been lost on a lot of people. Hey, I don't. I don't know what they're. What were they gonna play? Sweet Victory. I don't know what that is. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a big deal if you're 12? Is that a big deal? Yeah, I think like if. Yeah, I think like if you're 12. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Edge Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice. more of an incel, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, they got upset about that. But between the Super Bowl halftime furiousness, Gus, furiousness, and now the outcry over the character being exactly like it was before. What do you remember? What the the outrage was in between those two things? There was another one. There's, yes, there's, there's got to be five. It's like a week. Yeah. No, what was it? There's probably other ones that I, this is the one I noticed. Uh, Reddit was invested in by a Chinese company. Oh, right, yeah. So there was this protest where they kept posting basically all these anti-Chinese images, Tiananmen Square, things like that, and, uh, or anti-Chinese government, and everyone was like, this is gonna change the world. It's just like, you're not doing a fucking thing, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I, were they hoping Reddit would get shut down? No. Yeah. <laughs> or that the company would be like, never mind? And like, I think oh, it, you're right, we're bad. I think the outrage... <laughs> I think the outrage that oh, bugs me when it's something important sense. too. We have the bad guys, like that wasted outrage. Like that's an important issue. The Super Bowl thing. Get yeah. fucking mad about that. Get mad about the blue yeah, genie. But it's like you're kind of wasting this effort by like thinking you're doing something about problems in China and people who were killed protesting for <clears throat> democracy in what the was that 1989? 89. Yeah. Listen, dude. I think people just like being angry together. I have gotten s s yeah, they do, Barbara. People like to get mad, and they all get they have like, it's like a little flame. It's a, they like it when there's a, a group. Spread. It spreads. Big group. They can well, also people pile on when they think that you're gonna get karma. Mm -hmm. It's you know, like you can make a meme and you can laugh together, or you can all pile on and be mad together. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make memes. You, oh, you want to play? You want to show the video? Let, that let, you, let me read this thing and then okay. we'll, we'll talk about. I got video. a game I want to play. So bring your fine knowledge. You're gonna talk about uh, Robin Hood segment. But first, how did you know? I want to remind everyone on the this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast <laughs> is brought to you by Robin Hood. Robin Hood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos all commission free. While other brokerages charge up to ten dollars for every trade, Robin Hood doesn't charge any commission fees, so you can trade stocks and keep all of your profits. Uh, plus, there is no account minimum deposit needed to get started, uh, so you can start investing at any level. The simple, intuitive design of Robinhood makes investing easy for newcomers and experts alike. 
You can view easy to understand charts and market data and place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. You can also view stock collections such as 100 Most Popular. Uh, with Robinhood, you can learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio, discover new stocks, track your favorite companies, and get custom notifications for price movements so you never miss the right moment to invest. Right now, Robinhood's giving listeners of the Rooster Teeth podcast a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help you build your portfolio. You can sign up at rtpodcast.robinhood.com. Again, that's rtpodcast.robinhood.com. Thank you, Robinhood, for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth podcast. I talk about this all the time with the young <coughs> people that work here. And investing is one of the most powerful things you do. One of the common things that people say about investing is that you can double your money every seven years. And that changes depending on the economy over time. Sometimes eight years, sometimes seven years. But let's say you took $10,000. Just go to Vegas, double it in one Shut night. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ten, just be born a king. And Put it rule all England. on black. That's what you should do. You take $10,000 when you're 20 years old and you invest it when you're 20 years old. When you're 27, it'll be 20000 When you're 34, it'll be 40000 When you're 41, it'll be 80000 When you're 48... It'll be, what to say, 80,000, 160,000. Then it goes to 320 for your mid 50s. Then it goes up to $640,000 in your, like your early Six, 60s. Yeah, one more double, you have $1.2, $1.3 million. Which, when adjusted for inflation, is worth about $10,000. No, it's not. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> no. It's not. And also, that's, I, everyone's like, well, I don't have 10, I'm a 20 year old, I have $10,000. Like, that's if you just invested that. At that time. At that time. And I see it right here. It seems like you're not investing as you go. Sam 13 asks, what kind of 20-year-old has $10,000? I mean, that's the kind of the point of like a sponsor like that is you can invest smaller than that. Right. Start somewhere. Or or you're also, if you you never invested anything again, that's the point. You will continue to invest, hopefully, as you see you're earning money in that regard. That's always the answer. I mean, listen, it's the same thing I fucking said at 20. Was, who fucking said those dollars? Just for guys, here. chat, just put a little bit of money away. <laughs> you don't have to put $10,000 away right away. <laughs> just save. Any your, money. Yeah. Put some money into your 401k if you got it, too. Right. Just hide <laughs> money invest. from yourself. I used to do it all the time. If I'd like, get, get like yep. 20 quid, I'd just shove it somewhere and forget about it. Yeah. <clears throat> can't, can't. quite investing. But. No, I'm as into like then have an amount to save. It's like, oh, I've been yeah. hiding money from myself. Step one, savings account. It was making it inaccessible yeah. or more difficult to get to. I don't want to make uh, this a Reddit podcast, but I saw something really funny on Reddit. Well, I saw something funny on Reddit I wanted to talk about. Are you going to show the video? Yeah. That'll start us on a path. Let me say this because okay. it's related to finances. I didn't see shit on Reddit today. There's nothing millennials like talking about more than how fucking broke they are and <clears throat> making a thing out of it. And there was a post on Reddit that I thought was hilarious. It was a little thread where a guy goes, oh, I want to play this game, but I'm broke and I can't afford the money to play it. And the next person said, uh, check your, check your uh, inbox and DMs, dude. And a big smiley face. And everyone's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you buy him the game? You're so cool. Whatever. And it's like, OP, OP, did he buy you the game? He goes, no, I checked my DMs. It just said, get a job. (laughs) 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 That's awesome. Check your DMs. So good. Get a job, jump. (laughs) That is brutal. (laughs) Um, I saw, I saw maybe one of the funniest videos I've ever seen uh, on Reddit this morning. Yeah. Or just like some guy. Yeah, he posted, I forgot what his title was, something like, I heard the forecast was freezing rain, so I went outside because I wanted to see it. <laughs> oh. uh, and then I guess like security camera footage of him going outside to see the freezing oh, rain. No. Uh, do you have that ready in there, Booth? Oh, this oh, is so good. Oh, Thank it? God for fucking home. <laughs> 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 Both fucking shoes. They just flew. Oh, the my part, God. There's some comments coming up. <laughs> he says, don't what? do that. And he says, I didn't fucking do it on purpose. Oh my God. But the way his shoe goes over it his like head. An explosion. Yeah. Two of them. He loses both his shoes. And I think internet rules, if your shoes come off, you've, you've died, right? You've di- yeah, that's what everyone's saying. Like, that oh. guy's dead. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's still moving, but no. Yeah, if you lose a shoe. Why is it about falling on ice? Is it because it's cold? It hurts so much more, too. Like, you see that guy, like, trying to walk it off. He really just <laughs> fell down to There's his butt. absolutely no give. It's just all hardness. Yeah, yeah. It's, fall- it's falling hard and fast onto a concrete surface. That's but, cold, too. But is ice, it has less, or, yeah, does ice also, have less give than concrete? Well, if you're cold, too, if your body is cold, it hurts. If, if things hurt more. Yeah. It's like stinging, like you're gonna. I, I want to watch explain. that again. That was. Let's so watch it again. Let's watch it again. This it actually, back. this actually spurred an idea for a game that when I when I saw it. Bring it back up. All right, there we go. Amazing. Oh, the shoes are the best. <laughs> Slides all the fucking way. Can you down. turn it up so you can hear the? Wait. Also, this poor guy's in his shorts. What a hero! Are you okay, Don't do that. 
Don't do that. What kind of thing is that, kind of thing is that to say? Don't do that. Like, what? So, where, where was that? I don't, I don't remember. I don't think so. There's something about ice that's very funny in that when you see someone slip on ice, Chances are in the video, the person filming it will also slip on ice. Like, have <laughs> yeah. you noticed that? It's true. People don't learn from ice. They just think, idiot, and then there's still it's just fun. a slippy for you. Yeah. So it reminded me of a video, and this is going to be a really specific game. I'm going to suck But at this. I tested it with, who was it talking to Tyler? Was it talking to you? Was it, yeah. And I, I tried it on Tyler. He got every single one of them right. Every single one. And uh, so basically that reminded me of another video where something happens. And why don't we just, can we pull up the first video? And I'm, we're going to play this with chat. The, the rule here is you have to guess the person's name and you'll see the video and you'll instantly be able to name the person. I'm like, disqualified. Like I can a, see right. the name on the screen. Oh. Yeah, oh. what the hell, guys? I didn't look. Oh, you can't see on the screen. Okay. See, the, so the first one here, there's some deer in a backyard and a guy is going to sneeze and scare the deer. What is the name of the guy? Is it, are these like famous people? No, no. not Well, they're, they're famous just, now okay. because of uh, because of Vine. Okay. So chat, you got chat up over there? I don't have chat up over yeah, there. I, I don't chat, know okay. very many Vine Do they know people. the name of the guy? Uh, what is, the, they, I think they're just getting to that point. Okay. Okay. They're, we're on a little bit of a delay, so this might be it's hard. Just, what is the name of the video? Let's do it. Oh, oh, we got it. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> okay. So, so what's the guess? Uh, I see several guesses. They're all for Ron. There you go, Ron. All right, play it. Nice, Ron. I sneeze. Oh, I found a lot of sneeze. <laughs> 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 All right, what's the what's the next one? Nice, Ron. Show me the preview of the next one. Let's, let's get a preview. All right, this is a hockey dad. <laughs> hockey wait, wait, hockey dad every, breaks uh, the barrier. Everyone's going through Ron still. <laughs> what's the name of the hockey dad who breaks the barrier? Uh, they're going through. Is it also Ron? <laughs> no, I'm getting a lot of Ron Kevin. still. Wow, y'all are y'all are way behind catch up. Epic? No, the name's not epic. <laughs> There's a significant delay. Yeah. Do you guys, either of you guys know this video? Don't know it. I don't know this I feel one. like the second Ty it starts to play, I'll Tyler was 100% on these. I'm seeing a lot of Paul. Let's Some start of the us uh, Paul. Go ahead. Okay. Don't they know got it. Whoever said Paul got it. Number four! Get the wheels on the bus! Way to go, Paul! Number <laughs> four! I don't know why this made me Way laugh so hard. Go, Paul. Videos with people's names is just really fucking funny. Yeah. To me. Okay, Paul, what's the next one? So Paul can, is still okay. out there. This guy's about to throw a frisbee. What's the name of the guy that throws the frisbee? Uh, Caleb. <laughs> I see what you're doing. That's you did a good there. one. Yep. Uh, you might actually get the last one. You might know the last one, but okay. this one you probably don't know. I feel like these look familiar, but I don't remember them until they start playing. <clears throat> see, uh, uh, let's say Kevin. Kevin? Okay. <laughs> that was my guess on the last one. <laughs> see if this chat gets it. it. <laughs> We're still waiting. Uh, see Richard. That's it's it. Coming through. Go. Yep. Go Richard. 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 Throw the frisbee. Oh, what the fuck, Richard? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It's like such a specific oh like genre of video. That's so funny. What All right, this next one is super fucking easy. If you've ever seen a vine, this guy's been vaping. What's the name of the guy? What's the name of the guy? James. Steven. You don't know this one for real? Oh my god. Nah. That's amazing. Tyler, you, you like set Kib. me up for failure here. Because you knew every single- I don't and know any Tyler things. knew these so well that he even guessed the last video that I was going to say. I started reading the to him and he goes, do you have Ron when he sneezes for the year? I'm like, yep, I have that one. <laughs> Get off uh, Vine. Ad oh yeah, Adam. Adam. <clears throat> Adam. Yeah, this over. is probably one of my favorite Vines though. So. He's doing a vaping trick. Adam. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to play that game because that's actually kind of inspired by uh, uh, Chelsea Harfouche. She knows every single vine. I have tried to stump her on stuff. And I think there's some people that just sit there and watch vines all day, like me. I've, although I've switched over now to TikTok. Don't. Is, is it Chelsea Harfouche seen every vine? What's it, that? It took her like, what, two hours? <laughs> I, you can sit there and watch yeah, Vine compilations. And then fucking yeah, I, I, fuck, I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Set yourself up there. I love yeah. it. I gave you a snort. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, it's impossible to stump her on a Vine. Impossible. I miss Vine so much. I think they really fucked up when they turned off that platform. Why'd they turn off? I don't know. They probably ran out of money. Twitter? Did, didn't who bought, who bought them? It was Twitter. Twitter bought Vine? Twitter, did Twitter buy I them? I think Twitter bought Vine. I mean, and then shut them down? just have yeah. both on the same app? For Christ's like, sake. Gotta make money. Twitter, I think they, they're I think they finally making a profit. Are they? I think so. I think no. they're finally making money. Good for them. Took them, you know, 12 <laughs> years. 
Well, it took him 12 years. Imagine having 12 years to make a business profitable. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's amazing. Did, uh, <clears throat> did anyone see the birthday party that uh, Kylie Jenner threw for her one-year-old this weekend? No. no I saw people were outraged about that, too. That, that's what I thought you were going to say about the outrage. Yeah, that was a mini one between the two. What happened? Why were people mad? Because it, uh, they must have spent millions of dollars on this thing. On a one-year-old's birthday party? On a party? one-year-old's birthday party. It was they called, dreamed it, right? It was called, like, Stormy World, and the entrance, it's like an amusement park. The entrance to it was her baby's face. You walked into the <laughs> mouth. An inflatable version of it. Look at this nightmare. Good lord. It's terrifying. Can we get one of those with my face? Can we have it at RTX? RTX, July 5th and 7th. Buy tickets now. What was the- This kid has no idea what's happening. What was the exit? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Probably back out through the mouth. Just, okay, yeah, you just turn I, around. I think that was it. Yeah. Oh, Baby's vomit. It. So. <laughs> so strange. Yeah, and they had like <clears throat> does a that annoy you that they wheel or something? Does it annoy you that they waste? I don't know. I say waste. It's probably they enjoy it. Does it annoy you that they spend that much money on a kid's birthday? Party? I just uh, it's I guess it's more for the adults than it is for the kid itself. You but think I was, so? <clears throat> well, yeah. <laughs> it's probably more for the so for social media at this point. But I just think like that kid is not going to remember fuck all from that no. moment. I don't know how you could forget walking into your own mouth. Yeah. Look, what, what, I don't, what, I would what was that video that. you made? Was it? You pull yourself out from your mouth or- Oh, when you're trying to put your own head in your butt. <laughs> no, that was because my brother was convinced that if you sh shoved your head far enough up your own ass, it would come, come out of your mouth. mouth. <laughs> and I was explaining to him that you've only got one- Mouth. Mouth, and it's inside your asshole. <laughs> so where would it come out of? That is the first time I think I ever heard you say, what are you on about? What are you on about? <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> Talking to George. It's one of my- I love that video. <laughs> My favorite insults again. He like drew me a diagram, and I was like, <laughs> like, he goes, "Here's your other head." You're like, "What?" what other yeah. head? In his diagram, the damn thing had three heads. I was like, "Here's your problem." I think my favorite thing about watching videos of you and George is just there's a lot of this that goes on. Uh, uh, what? What are you on about? And he's just like, <laughs> you, you, but that was a. That, that's a there's not many things like this. You guys like killing each other in British. I wouldn't really consider a social media platform. Like we've had, we've all had social media platforms for a while. I don't associate <clears throat> Facebook or MySpace with anyone at Rooster Teeth at all. But do you remember there was a short period of time where we all had Vimeo accounts, and we were <laughs> all doing like these little like things that didn't go up on the website or didn't make sense on the YouTube channel. And so we, I think it was like four or five of us had Vimeo accounts with random stuff. So it's like it's lost the era of video production, but just the most random shit. Yeah, yeah, that was the origin of uh, Happy Hour. Oh, was it really? Yeah, it was from it was a lot of old Vimeo crap originally, and that's where your video of your brother lives, right? Yeah, with you, him, him drawing the diagram of the head coming out of the mouth. Yeah, Vimeo is a place where stuff ended up. Where I was like, well, I want to upload this. I don't have a YouTube account that's not Slumber Guys. I, yeah, I can't upload this for Rooster Teeth. I don't want to monetize it somewhere else, so I'm just going to put it on Vimeo. God, I pay. I think I paid for a Vimeo Pro Vimeo account for a while. I put on all my videos that I took when I visited Austin <coughs> the first time on Vimeo, like the one where I had beans on my head. Yeah, you got beans on your head. And where we went to the shooting range for the first time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Vimeo's still, Vimeo, they're still around, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've been able to find my videos. Oh, All the, my Jackie Mittens Vine videos. Vine shuts down, but Vimeo is still going strong. You want to hear, so I looked up Vine to see the path. We were like, did Twitter <coughs> start it or did bought it? The reason why we can't remember, uh, Vine was founded in June of 2012, and Twitter acquired it in October. So they founded the company in June, <laughs> and they sold the company in October. That's fucking incredible. Can the people who made Vine just make it again? I don't know. Oh, he's dead Maybe now, they, they probably have a non-compete because they sold it. But they sold it, but it's not there anymore. Yeah, I know, right? I don't- yeah, I have no fucking clue. Let's make I it have again. no clue. So let me see. Vimeo- Let's I think make it, Vine. Vimeo, I think, has another path. I want to say Vimeo started out of the same family of companies as, uh, College Humor. What? I want to say they did. I'm gonna look this up. <clears throat> or maybe I'm thinking about Tumblr. Uh, started and the, that But way. then, yeah, Yahoo bought Tumblr. Dude, did that- did people just stop using that? Is like, it was- Is it just like what, people Tumblr? moved on- Yeah, people moved on to Snapchat, and I then- I think Tumblr's still going strong. Is it? Uh, just, they kinda, I'm just not I part mean, of the group They kind of changed it? their content guidelines. Was it back in December? And yeah. Oh, you can't do the racy stuff? Yeah, Although I do remember changed, there was a time period where, like, anything anyone from Rashith would post, on Twitter or Instagram or whatever it was, would be on like multiple Tumblr accounts within minutes. Be Tumblr? <clears throat> yeah. And I don't know if like the Rooster Teeth fan base on Tumblr has shrunken or just moved on to other platforms, but yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, no. Yeah, it was with College Humor. Vimeo was acquired by IAC. That's Barry Diller's company. That's who acquired College Humor. It was part of Connected Ventures, hmm. which is where everything was. So that was tied together. And let me see if Tumblr was on it, too, at one point. What do you think your next company will be? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Still, work, still working on this one, Gaff. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't tell you. I'm fucking, I'm gonna leave you all, you losers in the dust. You're okay. a loser. I'm sick of you guys. <laughs> nice one, Gavin. <laughs> well, what have you ever done? <laughs> I'm gonna go, uh, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't think it'll be next thing I do. If I, if I did something else in entertainment, I probably would do something that's just, uh, like, like a management. Porn? Porn management. I manage your files. Like I get really <laughs> talented people, and they bring their files, and I go, "Yeah, I gotta organize this for you. I'll manage all this." <laughs> but I, I like that. That's a part of the job that uh, I've always liked: is bringing in new people, introducing them to the audience, like helping them develop, figuring out what they want to do, and then watching them do well. It's always been really cool to see that. You like to watch, huh? Yeah. Who have you done that? So you guys with? Done big, that big fucking pains in the ass sometimes, but it's also fun. It's also fun. I really enjoy that. What would you do next for post slow mo guys, Gavin? I'd probably get a hobby. I was talking about this last time. I just want I want to do something that's not seen by anyone. Yeah, yeah I get that. I totally yeah. get that. Uh, even do? at the fashion? weekend. Because you're um, starting a clothing line. Uh, yeah, I, I'm very interested in fashion, but I think, like, realistically, if I was to do something else after this, it'd be um, naming nail polish <coughs> or restaurants. Well, you shouldn't play Vine games for a living because you're yeah, terrible at it. I'm terrible at it. But you're naming uh, nail polish? Yeah, because they're, they're, oh. they're all puns. They're all puns. I'd probably just name stuff. No, hair salons. It's a, yeah. Yeah. That's the business that always has a pun name. You should just be the pun registry, like the the funding body, not funding, but like the governing body of puns, and like you have the last say on all puns. Yeah. That you, sounds like a viable puns. career. You, you, you could be a pundit. There you go. That'd be my- that'd be Come my, on, that was good. That was, that, that, that was good. That was better than that shit you said before. <laughs> what I say? <laughs> what are you <laughs> low rumbling? What is that? I, like, I don't know. It sounds like someone's talking Mike's on a to another podcast yeah. in the audio booth. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Cody's checking on him. We're very interesting. Or maybe someone's listening to something back there. Would you go... When someone gets put in jail for a crime they didn't commit and they get let out, they usually sue for a ton of money. Mm hmm Would you just do that if you had the option? Would just do what? Go to jail? Sit in jail for 10 years and then come out to like 15 well, what's, million. No, well, what's a ton of money though? No. I don't know. How much do they get when, if you, if you put I mean, Sometimes I read it, I'm like, man, that's like $50,000 a year to sit in prison. Oh, I thought it was way more. No, than that. no. Yeah. There, was, there was one recently, I think, where, what was it? A guy was in prison for 25 or 30 years and he came out and he had a million dollars, which is a lot of money, but you could break that out over 25 or 30 years. Yeah, that's dumb. That's yeah. So it's just like, that's in, invaluable. It's like 40K a year. Yeah. Like, would you, if I'd someone I'd rather was work like, a job. I'll give you $10 million, but you skip the next 15 years of your life. <gasps> yeah. Like, is that worth it? Absolutely. I definitely, I definitely think that is an amount how about where you would. Instead of skipping the next 15 years, you lose the last 15 years. Oh, God. Because I'd be a lot more open to that. Really? Yeah. No, but, like, you live a better life happens? now, and you leave a, your, your quality of life goes down the older you get. But is that the, Hence everything, the shotgun retirement plan. Everything that happened to you in the last 15 years is gone, though. Yeah, like, is that yeah. How would you lose this, your last? You're die you just want free money, is what is that? You just created. Well, yeah, how, yeah, how do you go? What do you go back in time? What do you mean? Or you so, went into prison 15 years ago? Oh, they would know. Like whoever's giving you the money, if they got this money, they'll know. Like okay, average age is 75. Then you live to. 60. I don't think there's a single amount. So you're saying you lose? Oh no. He's saying not, oh, you he's not your off previous, the end. you lose your you lose the, of right. the, oh. oh right, not the last 15 years. I was really the, confused the by last. that. You did a Gavin there and you phrased oh. that like an idiot. I think. Oh, I thought you meant like the previous 15 years. <laughs> the last years of your life. Well, people do that. Final. In a, the in final, a final 15, 15 years. years There's life. people that will do that, the equivalent of that, where they will sell their life insurance <laughs> policy to somebody else for a discount. Um, like if you have a million dollar policy, Someone buys it from you, and you name them as the beneficiary. They buy it from you for five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. But then they'll just kill you. Well, that's possible. I mean, I guess. I don't know if that's a big weird plan to take five hundred grand, give it to somebody, and then kill them, right? <laughs> so, but, well, no, yeah. wait, no, the other the other way around would get killed. Wait, no, one. no, 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 no. Again, there was the same. It's phrasing. <laughs> you, 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 you said it in a way that could be interpreted killed? both ways, right? Who's getting killed here? Not so, not so many subjective nouns, guys. <laughs> yeah, but it's like people do that. Also, for mortgages, people will, especially now in areas where is that what a reverse mortgage is? Uh, reverse, I believe that's what a reverse, a reverse mortgage, mortgage is. When a house pays you, 
I believe that's what a reverse mortgage is. For example, okay. Barbara. Like you're you, an old person, you buy their house from them, but they get to live in it until they die. Would you go yeah, to prison no. for the next 10 years, no. but you get $30 million on the way out? I, there is no amount of money that but you could But you'd be pay making me. $3 million yeah, a but year that's 10 for years. doing no work. That's Good 10 job years of my life. I get one fucking life. That's it. Yeah, but what did you do with the last 10 years anyway? Those are good years, though. 30s? You're taking away, like, her late 20s and 30s? Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it doesn't matter. Like, it could be any 10 years of my life. And I it's would, true. I would, there's no amount. Billion. Nope. <gasps> no amount. Literally, Wait. no amount. Because what's that going to get me? <laughs> All right. Billion dollars for five years in prison. No. Oh man, that's you would be a year. I you're would do literally that. insane. I would do that. That's like winning oh, the lottery a billion five times years? A, a week. But like, five I would years. work out like a motherfucker. I guess Four I million dollars a week. I guess I just don't find Four million dollars a pleasure week. out of like stuff. Like five yeah, million you dollars, do? you buy a, a big house. You know and... what I find pleasure in? A billion dollars. Yeah, but really... <laughs> I would take that billion dollars and I shove it up my butt. Right, I'm not it's... even in a butt stuff. I would be like, I'm so into this. If it's five years, you get into prison. If it's five years, maybe. Yeah, I could I'd consider that. But wait, wait, but Barb brings up a good point. Gus, what are you gonna do with a billion dollars? What would you do? Shotgun. It's a ridiculous <laughs> am amount of money. It's a crazy amount. I mean, you could obviously stop working if you wanted to. Really? For a billion dollars? With only a billion dollars? Shut up. A th it's a thousand million. <laughs> it's a thousand millionaires. It's yeah. a thousand million. Like what would you do with a million bucks? I don't, I, like you, with, you, with, your dreams are with low. With a billion bucks, I, like I, 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 it's not that I would, I wouldn't even quit working. I'd still work here. Yeah, that's the but thing. But it's like I, it would just the freedom to do whatever I want. I feel like you could already do whatever you want. Yeah, like on a crazy level though. Like, like I want to well, go. Okay, so you can blow up. I want to go on Sphinx. vacation, but I don't want to take a plane. Like I'm gonna buy a yacht to go on this vacation. I guess stuff like that, like going places and experiencing things, would be cool to have just unlimited budget. I probably for. just. Doing everything the same, but I would hire a cleaner of some sort. So I'm not always doing you dishes. You probably do that now. <laughs> you can just, nah, you don't need like a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay them a billion dollars. <laughs> but just wash my dishes forever. Billion, do billion my laundry dollars. and my dishes, please. I'll sign it over to you. So you go, you just telling me <laughs> you would go to jail for five years in order to never <laughs> wash dishes again? It's basically and, it breaks out. And I'm probably not doing my own laundry in prison. Oh no, I am. am you I? Are, yeah, you're, doing, you're doing everyone's you're laundry. Doing everyone's you do, you do, okay, so that's all I'm doing in prison, food. actually. Yeah, I mean, uh, having a cleaner is a that's like I'm talking about like a cleaner who like is there all the time. You're not talking like Harvey Weinstein in Pulp Fiction, that kind of cleaner who comes in and like Harvey Keitel. Did I say? Oh, why I said Weinstein? <laughs> I did. I did say Harvey Weinstein. Harvey we, Keitel. Should we? I mean, I know that Win Winston Wolf. I know what the answer is going to be if we put a poll on Twitter, but like. Should we put it higher, like ten years of your life for a billion dollars? People would do that or not? It's we do your use. I think if you put a billion, people would do just about anything. Yeah, it's an incredible amount of money. Well, why don't you say like a ridiculous number then? <laughs> would it was I say like, like twenty years of your life, twenty five years, or even longer, like, thirty years? Yeah, like and like half of a life, like be, say what thirty five years? Thirty five years for a billion dollars? That's would you do it? it? Here's the thing I always say: is if you had to sit down and you counted, and however high you got, they give you that money. You start counting. When would you stop? Well, you'd have to, you'd fall asleep, which would be the thing. Let's say you got to do it 18 hours a day. Oh. Or 16 hours a day. Give until, you eight hours Because how much of your life are you wasting counting? Right. You can't do anything else. Until you just you, have to sit at this table and count. Until you give They'll up or you, you flub. Not flub. It's not a contest. You just stop. It's just you just keep counting. And then when you're done, whenever you decide to stop, it's just so it's totally a choice. Like, what's enough money? Wait, if you're counting for eight months and you're up to two million dollars or three million dollars, is that enough? You know, at some point you'd be yeah, like, I got like, I already got three million dollars. Do right. I really need to torture myself for another? Theoretically, you could get up to a billion. You spent your whole life doing it, right? They're doing ten years of your life for one billion dollars. Pull on. I mean, the thing is, it takes. You guys are like, crazy. No, no, but for some career paths, you have to be in education for like eight or nine years if you want to be a doctor and stuff. Yeah, but you still get to. Live, your, live life. your life. Yeah, you still get to go out and meet people and have relationships. You know, maybe. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot you can't do though while you're in. You can still be a doctor point. with a billion dollars. You just pay people to let them operate on you. You know, or you operate on them. <laughs> Wait, you'll get some guy, gave, some, some guy gave me a hundred million bucks, but he said I just want to like. It's very like even remo split. remove a tumor from your arm. Be like, yeah, go for it. Well, yeah. what's the worst that could happen? I mean, wouldn't Jesus. be so bad. You can, you can hire people.
to, to be your patient. It's a pretty even split on I know. this uh, poll. It's a lot closer than I thought it would be. I think be. we shamed all the greedy punks out there. I, you guys are crazy. Well, I think I'd it just, like, if you put it into perspective, I think what it's... You, what time is money. That's what are you doing with the next 10 years of your life? $100 million a year? That's $2 million a week? It's <laughs> nice. a lot of money. That's a lot of money. You'll get out. Nothing will be any different. You'll have a billion dollars. You'll yeah, get out the you first day. Ten years of your life. Right, what are you but, missing? People are gonna get upset because Neo in the Matrix reboot is green. That's what, that's <laughs> all you missed in ten years. But no, you get out. You got a billion dollars, and then in seven years you've got two billion. Someone is saying in chat here that prison in the Netherlands is pretty nice. We're talking U.S. prison here. Yeah. <laughs> by the way. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. Privatized, shitty American prison. Oh, Bill Cosby got moved to general population. So I read, read that. Anybody else read that? I read that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so some people are just in prison for killing someone, and then Bill Cosby's walking around. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's. Uh, I, I don't know if he, I don't know if that puts him in his like. I mean, puts him in more danger probability wise, but like the stuff they, he's convicted for they, is they, it like they there's they a code of honor among prisoners. Like they, they probably vetted that danger. I assume that's why he wasn't in general population at first. Yeah. Or one of the reasons, and then um, they moved him into general. Our population. Are privatized prisons the most evil thing? Ever. It's pretty evil. I think we can close this poll. We're pretty That's we're crazy. Pretty evenly split. I don't know if I've ever seen a poll that privatized prison. Yeah, split. it's uh it's terrible. It's it's pretty terrible. So it's just like you're in prison that a company owns? That's the way they it make is in the US. Yeah. The, the prisons are all privatized. They're for profit businesses. <clears throat> yeah. So well, why they, don't we start our own prison? They thrive by the fact that they need to have people in prison. <laughs> if they don't have people prison? in prison, they're losing money. Yeah. We'll, we'll start think about how fucked up prison, that is. And then we'll have the prisoners make the next vine. Yeah. And instead of making work. license plates like in the old movies, they're making vines. What is someone in prison called? A prisoner. prisoner? <laughs> <laughs> but what is someone in jail called? A jailbird. A prisoner. But what I'm saying is like a prisoner. A detainee. Is the person inside. But a jailer is the person who jails them. A prisoner. They're not a prisonee. You think oh. they should be called prisonees and prisoners? Like I'm a prisonee. Just doesn't match, does it? Doesn't match. You're right. Would doesn't it be match. In prisoner? In prison. Because they're imprisoning you? Yeah. Oh, I think you're onto something. Yeah. Because they're not prisoning it's you. It's like a diff- there's a different verb for that. Yeah. But they can jail you. Not- not im-jail not you. Not im-jail. <laughs> That's a, uh, here, I'm gonna read this thing. Uh, right. re- remind everyone, this episode of Goat! the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by GOAT. Very good. Goat. If you're buying sneakers online, uh, there's more than a good chance that the shoe you're looking at is a fake. How can you be sure that it's real? Goat.com is the safest way to buy and sell authentic sneakers online. They're the largest marketplace in the world for authentic Yeezys, Jordans, and over 600,000 sneaker listings. The whole process is frictionless and completely trustworthy. Uh, Goat does this by only accepting sellers with the best reputation and by verifying all sneakers to ensure their authenticity for buyers. Uh, Every detail is inspected from the stitching and color to the size and weight. Goat certifies every pair of sneakers on their site matches the exact factory specifications. With over half a million sneakers on the platform and 10 million users, you won't find better prices for verified 100% authentic sneakers anywhere else. Uh, For the perfect 100% authentic sneakers at goat.com slash teeth, that's goat.com slash teeth, Plus, you'll also be supporting our show, but you've only but you got to go right now before the sneakers you want are gone. When you go to goat.com slash teeth, uh, spell G O A T dot com slash teeth. Thank you, Goat, for sponsoring this episode of the Roost Teeth Podcast. It's got to be right now, especially if you're watching the VOD. Right now. It's you ever right gotten now. any weird stuff like you, you get like a f- forgery of sneakers or something like that? Uh, or a brick instead of an iPhone or something? You, you remember when that happened to Jason? Where yes. He ordered a Mac Pro online and he got like, what was it, like a box of rocks. And it said <laughs> it was a bag of rocks and it said on the bag, rocks. <laughs> like someone took time to write that on it. Yeah. Because they wrote the word rocks. What the hell? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And he, you know, disputed it. And it's been like an ongoing thing. I guess like whoever it was, that whoever did that is in prison now. And he says that every now and then he still gets like a restitution check for like a small amount of the money that he, uh, he lost in that. And, th- and that was like, that was a long time ago, like 15 years yeah. ago? Yeah. I know that was a, a big thing on eBay with the Xbox because the name, the box was in the name of the Xbox. So people would just sell Xbox boxes without the Xbox the in. Xbox. And they would write it, but people wouldn't notice because it would say Xbox box and they'd think they were buying an Xbox. Did you ever see that Judge... It was just a box. I hate that shit. That Judge Judy trial where someone bought, I think, two cell phones off eBay and like didn't... Like the person came to court and they were selling... They got two photos of cell mm-hmm. phones in the package. And yep. the person was like obviously suing them. And they're like, well, it was in the description. 
And then I think Judge Judy was like, that's still bullshit. Like, yeah, you're you a fucking idiot. You're trying to scam people. I know. People, they think that's a brilliant scam. They, yeah. they, sell, they sell pictures of the item. And they're like, well, you put the weight as being the weight of two cell phones. So there you go. Oh, is that, is that what got yeah. them? Yeah. Oh. I think it's just like the nail in the coffin kind of thing. Should have printed a really thick paper if they were going to Put a rock in there. <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a phone book. I got fake shampoo. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. How Should you test it? What? Test the pH of it? It was different. I got I got this shampoo that I like, and I get it. And uh, I get it in like the, like it's like a massive jug. And I only need one like once every nine months. <laughs> And uh, I think someone's dumping like cheap HEB brand yeah, shampoo. Yeah, I got it, it once. I was like, "This isn't right. This is weird. This is a little different." And I still had some left from the old one because I'm <clears throat> I plan ahead. And I bought the new stuff before the old stuff ran out. Nice. Compared it, it looks really looks really different. Maybe look they... it up online. People are like this shit's counterfeit. Some comments on the uh, profile. They're like, "Yeah, I got this and it's counterfeit." It happens all the time. Then maybe change the no because I ordered directly from the people. Really? Paul Mitchell. Oh. I ordered I ordered it from the Paul Mitchell site and so, got the got the good stuff. So where'd you order this other one from? Amazon. Oh, but, yeah. I, but I shouldn't say Amazon because it's one of those things where it's like it's a seller. Oh, uh, I hate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you talk about vetting, go vetting stuff. Only Amazon's vetting. Like they're like YouTube. They got that big scale, so they can't vet everything. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you so just trust. Just yep. look for the trusted sellers that have like more stars. Can't you rate sellers on Amazon? I don't know. If you can can you rate sellers? I, think I assume I think they get. I've seen like can. trusted seller mm -hmm. before. I assume if they get the Prime. That's uh, they got they went through a process and they got the prime, right? Because then the the stuff is in the Amazon warehouse. Yeah, but do we really think they're going through and checking all that shit? I don't know. Who knows? Hey, Chad, who's sitting behind me? What's going on? Chad, Chad. Chad's sitting behind. I wanted Chad to come and say, "Hey, how's it going?" Hey, because all right, thanks for coming by, Chad. All right, cool. Peace. We, uh, we had a cool thing happen this week. We had uh, the return of Archie Shorts. Yeah, Yay. so we got the return of Archie Life. Well, now we have Archie Shorts coming back. We had the moving in shorts. So if you haven't seen it, Barbara, where can they go to watch that? They could go uh, to youtubecom slash Teeth. You go to youtubecom slash Teeth to watch it because we're doing or uh, One of the things we want to talk about specifically was that we yeah. are changing our approach to YouTube specifically. Yep. It's one of the things that Chad's working on. So, as people may have noticed, over time, Rooster Teeth as a brand started to mean a lot of different things. It became like this big as it grew, and other things underneath it, departments, shows like Achievement Hunter became their own, you know, standalone departments. It's a lot of different stuff that started on that channel. On Rooster Teeth. Yeah. yeah. Chat is very happy to see you, Chad. Oh, great. Hey. I thought I said Chad is very happy to see you. I was like, yes, he is. So we're paring, da we're paring down the offering on YouTube. But the big thing that happened, too, is there was a point in time where we all kind of looked up and was like, is the, is the Richard's YouTube channel just like a marketing channel? It's just, it seems like it's nothing but marketing. It videos, kind of essentially. became the RT podcast of podcasts where, like, we, we do a lot of promotion for our stuff on this podcast. Right. But not necessarily the other podcasts we do. So the Rooster the YouTube channel kind of became the same thing where it's like, oh, we got this new show coming out. Put the trailer for it on that or right, right, etc. Like if you saw, for instance, like a Funhouse shirt on the Rooster podcast, that wouldn't be weird. But if they were talking about a bunch of new Rooster stuff on the Funhouse podcast, that would be weird. Yeah. Like, it shouldn't like be a bunch of stuff that was like, go over here, check this out, and it was like, yeah. but where's the stuff gone? Like where's yeah. the meat gone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, I mean, that's because you know we there's we have our own SVOD service, and there's a big initiative to like, hey, we want to grow that um, because I mean, I'm sure everyone knows about the plight that is YouTube currently, and being beholden to a third party platform is really scary because if they just decide one day to make some change that absolutely screws us, we don't want to have all our eggs in that one basket, right? So it makes a lot of sense. But you know, that said, there was never really anyone looking out for the RT YouTube channel, yeah. um, and that was something that uh, Evan who does programming was very aware of. Um, when he was programming for, you know, growing the SVOD. And so, you know, we kind of got to the state where I guess you guys realized like, oh, hey, yeah, it's kind of just become this like marketing platform. But a lot of, you know, it's a, a great way for to bring in a new audience is through YouTube. Uh, I, I imagine a bunch of people watching today uh, first found out about Rooster Teeth in some way by coming across something on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, uh, I guess one it's of the been reasons... We've been working on for a while now. Uh, we basically, we have a new office. Moved a bunch of people in there, and then those people all just work together. Chad, you're in there. Barb, yep. you're in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Gus, uh, you know, get in there and just make stuff and make content. But in the for the time being, though, we're gonna have a, a much more focused slate on the Rooster Teeth YouTube channel. Yeah, uh, and also doing best practices. So I get I, we haven't really, I guess I haven't talked about this at all yet. Um, but you've, if you've been following a lot of RT content, you notice I've popped up a lot more recently, and that's because uh, yeah, I was asked uh, by you guys to come over and kind of help 
turn around the RT YouTube channel. So uh, I'm not like completely going away from Death Battle and all that stuff. Uh, I'll still be voicing a character there and I'll still be on uh, Death Battle cast. But yeah, my main job lately has been be over here and kind of help turn the RT YouTube channel around. Uh, and like, I, if you guys are YouTube viewers that are watching this, like, I mean, we just kind of want to acknowledge that, like, yeah, we haven't done the best job on YouTube uh, in recent times. And that's changing. Kind of a shotgun approach. A little, yeah. little, yeah. little bit scattered and spread thin in what we were doing on the YouTube channel yep. specifically. Yeah, when we posted, uh, it was the Bird Box RT Life. Uh, I saw a handful of comments that were saying, uh, wow, is this a live action Rooster Teeth video that isn't promoting something or trying to sell me their merch? Yep. And it was like, hmm. Ouch, but fair. Uh, <laughs> that's what we were saying, right? That's yeah. what we were saying, and it was like confirmation, you know, that that's what was taking place, so that's what people were expecting to see when they tuned into the YouTube channel. Yeah, and I, like I said, it's a, it's a really important part of our business. We don't want to rely upon it, um, but we respect its influence, uh, and we want to make sure that the people who are watching on YouTube, uh, okay. you know, have a good experience. So, you know, part of this whole initiative and the new things that we're making, you know, kind of the return to RT Shorts and RT Life and maybe some new cool stuff that we come up with, they, they very much will also be available on YouTube and you'll notice uh, if you've noticed already last week there's been a change in like the way we're doing thumbnails the way we're doing titling uh, we're changing the way we do end screens uh, because it's a really important part of YouTube right now is they, they're so focused on keeping people on their platform uh, that's more valuable to them than a channel than anything else on, on a video by video basis yeah. does this video keep people on YouTube that's all they care. I mean it's their platform that's all they care about just keep right. people on that it's platform. Not, it's not even just yeah. the platform too but it's also it's just the channel itself. Like, if if you watch videos on a channel, the algorithm rewards that. And a weird thing about Rooster Teeth was you can watch Rooster Teeth videos that aren't necessarily on the channel. So if you've seen RTA and it's got an off-topic sketch, then you say, oh, that, that was a funny bit. I want to hear the rest of that. You go to the off-topic video that's on a different channel. And YouTube is like the difference between uh, Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter. They... It's a totally different channel to YouTube, whereas somebody who's watching a video might go, oh, this is just another Rooster Teeth yeah. video. You can tell that every feature that YouTube implements is for the good of YouTube. Like, oh, yep. totally. They just added, uh, you can now, on a video you're watching, swipe to another video either side. I don't know who that's for, <laughs> other than, <laughs> just oh, I accidentally, I accidentally swiped the video away and now I'm watching someone else who I would never have found. But that's really annoying to me. So, <laughs> like swipe off the content I'm yeah. looking at. I just go to some random thing. And then thing. if you yeah. swipe back, do you have to start over again? Or does it at I least remember, remember where place? you were, but it's like, it never goes to the same channel's video. It's always just like, recommended. It's like something completely different. They want they just want to send people off in a different direction. Do you know what yep. I wish I could turn off on my phone? Which, I, it's, it's a feature that I use 100% of the time wrong. It's when I'm in something, and in the top left corner, it sends me back to the app that sent mm, me to that mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. And I just want to go back in the thing that I'm already in, yeah. and it's like, it changes apps on me. Like, and does it gets you back to Twitter or something to, like I don't know that. what that's called, and I just want to turn it off. Remind <laughs> me to bitch about Apple after this. We will. Oh. <laughs> so By the, the way, though, Chad, yeah, what's up? You, like, that's all important. That's kind of important, all that stuff. Okay. But more importantly than all that. Is that you're in some chicken horse videos on a show? Hey, we're here no, to promote right. Rooster Teeth. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so you're gonna watch the podcast, <laughs> yeah. and now they'll be gone. Yeah. You're also in. Yeah. Uh, you're also in Genlock. Yeah, that was yeah. wild. The famous Chad James. There's <laughs> apparently <laughs> some. I saw this on our subreddit when people were discussing the episode. There's some military term for Jody. Yeah, Jody. Uh, what's funny is I found out about this after because somebody's like, "Hey, you know, right?" And I'm like, "No, what?" And they're like, "Oh, yeah." Um, a, a Jody is what uh, is called in the military when uh, he's the guy who sleeps with uh, a military man's wife when he is overseas. But in Chase's doc, in Chase's, I thought it could, I thought Chase it could be, was dead. He was dead. <laughs> dead. There's a big difference. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> You're like, I I'm did, a good guy. I swear. I, I swear. He, was, he was deployed in that tank. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Does Jody apply yeah. to people if the, if this guy goes off to war and dies? You still a Jody? I don't know. I don't think so. I thought uh, it could be a man or a woman. Like Jody could be like the man who sleeps with the wife or the or the woman that sleeps with the husband. Oh, the, it could be. I, yeah. it, it was only ever phrased to me in the the male context. Gotcha. Um, I don't know if there's so a different name like or dudes would make up thing. <laughs> like a set of rules, right? It seems like. Well, I just thought that because Jody. Well, could Jody be, the name could be either, either way. Yeah, yeah. It would make I've sense. met yeah. both men and women named Jody. Yep. Uh, Jody Foster. <laughs> for the time being on the Rushi channel, people should expect to see. Rooster Teeth Podcast, RTAA, RT Shorts, and RT Life. RT Life. Yeah. Yep. And we'll be putting some more stuff back in. 
you know, some shows that are familiar to the YouTube audience, but that's what very streamlined, very focused approach to the RT YouTube channel. Yep, absolutely. And uh, Return one of, to form. Yeah, and one of the most beneficial things <laughs> that you guys can do, like, you know, that stereotypical, like, oh, like, subscribe. like. But, like, actually. that, But, like, Dude. that actually really helps. <laughs> Turn uh, on the notifications. And, Smash the like button. Yeah. No, and also, right now, like, when you're when you're subscribe. done, when you're done watching, uh, if you're watching RTP right now or you're watching one of our videos, if, you're watching if you RTP actually right click now. on the end card or one of the suggested videos, like, we prefer you keep watching our stuff, but even if it's not our stuff, as long as you're going and staying on YouTube and not bouncing right after right. that, that makes that video much more valuable to YouTube, and it makes them much more likely to suggest it, and a ton of viewership comes from suggested videos. Like, the browse features, like, I think we get 98% of our viewership through browse features as opposed to, uh, you know, like, I went to the channel's page or I got that'd a notification. Be, that'd be from accidental swiping, probably, oh, from yeah. other videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit! So cool. Well, thanks for joining us, Chad. Yeah, Rapid thanks, fire. Guys. Really quickly, how do you feel about the blue genie in Aladdin? Man, I don't know. I'm back and forth. I think it's like, it's insane shoes to fill. Rapid like, fire. It's going to be real hard for him to dethrone Robin Williams. All right. I go. agree with that. Would and you, a cartoon. Would you take a billion dollars to go to jail for 10 years? Ooh, 10 years. Next got, 10 years. You got kids. When does it start? Now. 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 We got officers waiting. <laughs> you don't get the money till the end, though. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Damn. Wow, with kids. All right, and in the Vine video, what's the name of the guy who blows away the smoke with the guy who's vaping? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> two, out of, two out of three is not bad. All right, thanks, Chad. Right, right. See, he's going edgelord. So <laughs> yeah. he doesn't know. Uh, apparently, Tyler Stab's an edgelord. <laughs> We've now firmly nice. established it. <laughs> thanks, Chad. All right, uh, you have a Mac? Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> was, All right. Are you really, you really unhappy? <laughs> the problem I have with my Mac is sometimes it stops playing sound. And the only way to fix it is to reboot it. It doesn't make any sense. It's a pro. It's supposed to be for AV. What are you doing, though? You're not editing shit. You don't edit the podcast it's supposed anymore. To be for, I didn't say I did. I didn't say I used it. I just said it's supposed to be. But why do you use a uh, Gavin, I know you got something you want to talk about. Why do you That's use a fine. Mac laptop or desktop still? Because you can't game on it either. I've gotten used to it. Yeah, but get out of that. Get out of that. Why? So I can use a fucking iPad? What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, I, what do you mean iPad? That's I just, what you have in your lap. It's just for notes, for reading scripts and stuff like that. What do you mean? I, what do I mean iPad? I mean the thing you're fucking using. Look at this, you fucking prick. Look what I've got over here. <laughs> I've got my actual laptop, which is a Windows laptop. But you're not laptop. using it. You were using it as a coaster. It literally had drinks on it. <laughs> What's the point? Look, I have a I have a table right here. Gus, it's using the same purpose as your laptop. I like the form factor <laughs> as opposed to having the laptop sitting there. I got like a little tablet book thing where it's sitting right here. You can also you. make that into a tablet. What's that? Why are you, you can also make that into a tablet. Why are you using the iPad? Why do you have two things? That thing does both. You're oh. using something that does half of what your coaster does. Okay, here's why. Because I'm in the same fucking boat you are, and I have my fucking iPhone, and I can't sync <laughs> my uh, iMessages to this thing, and I have this thing to, for, for when I'm here, and I want to be able to get texts and stuff like that. That's exactly why. Then why did you bring the coaster? What coaster? The thing your drinks were your on. Laptop. Oh, I just like that laptop. It's a good laptop. Get a P fuck get, move over to PC. Be done I have with a PC. It. Move over to PC. I have PC. a PC too. I use it. I use them pretty much 50-50 to be honest. Here's what I love about Safari. Great browser. If you're on a laptop, <laughs> you're right. If you're on a laptop, you got the touchpad. Mm -hmm. You got one. You can press back on Safari. Immediately goes back. Previous page. You can also swipe back. Mm-hmm. Which, a lot of the time, if you're like, just browsing, it's a lot easier just to do that. With, you don't have to move your thumb or fingers. But if you th go back that way, it like animates it back. And then does bugger all for one to two seconds while it reloads the entire page. And then you can use it again. Mm -hmm. Well, the Christ is the point in having two different kinds of back. I'm asking you. Yeah. Uh, I oh, think what it is, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. It's like you get that lag when you swipe back. I think what it is Just is, be back. back. What one of them goes back to a cached version, and then one of them reloads the page. Who in that would set. want that distinction? I'm just saying. I think that's what the difference it's is, really and that's not why that much of a delay. I. Uh, it's worse on the laptop. D oh yeah, do on a fuck. On the, on, a... on the phone, it's almost instant. Yeah. Yeah, the but phone, it, it's instant. It, that that feature was added. Years ago, mm -hmm. and I remember using it and being like, well, that I sucks. also it's just like I, a I, slow version. I never use that. I'm one. like, hopefully, they'll fix that in 2014. It's, no, what? it's faster to move the mouse up to the back button and do it that way. Also, this it is the first time is. I learned that you could do that. Oh, so thank you. Yeah, it's, that's, that's, it's handy on the phone, it's great on the phone now. It's ass on the laptop. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's anus. Yeah, it's absolute anus. That was my gripe today.
about Apple products. Right. I heard that uh, supposedly they're going to stick with Lightning for the next iPhone. That's the rumor. Are they now. really? Yeah. Fucking. That, that, mean, that's another thing that I don't even care. It's, I've got I, enough. I've got enough of both cables. I can just yeah, but I just hate carrying everything around. At some point, the lightning cable. Yeah, in in my backpack, it's like okay, I've got a normal USB lightning cable, and I, and I've got a USB C lightning cable mm -hmm. just in case. Like I have two fucking phone cables. Also, what's the USB C lightning cable? It's oh, this to lightning for it's, um for the only port <laughs> on this fucking <laughs> piece of shit laptop. That's the thing that's really frustrating to me. As much as I bitch about the iPhone, I still use it because I like it. The, the laptop, I really did give up on the laptops and the desktops for Apple because there's no now <clears throat> unified theory at the, at the company, it doesn't seem like. Like, the fact that the, the laptops are all USB-C, but the phone is still lightning, it's just... And laptops it, still have a headphone jack. It doesn't make sense, yeah. yeah. It just doesn't make sense. So you gotta have your headphone... You can do Bluetooth headphones, though, on your Mac. I'm assuming I can connect my AirPods to that, right? You, I don't have them, but uh, yeah, I mean, you should be able to. Should be able to, right? Yeah, yeah I use Bluetooth with. My, I, I, I have that problem where I stop doing what I'm doing with my Bluetooth headphones, and they start playing music from somewhere else. Just so. randomly. I have a something. question about AirPods. Do you guys, you guys all use AirPods or have used them? I don't. Yeah. Are my ears just fucking disgusting? Yeah. <laughs> no, all Apple products make you feel like a disgusting human. Well, they've all got a white sheen. Yeah, it's like, unless yeah. you come all over them, there's not gonna- you're always gonna see exactly your I'm bodily fluid on them. How do you clean your ear- AirPods? What? <laughs> no, they're gross. They're gross. <laughs> okay, good. I thought it was just me. I was like, do I just have like a non-human amount of earwax? I have to clear mine pretty regularly. Like I just have like a little folded piece of paper that I do. Yeah, I do. To me, too. it's like the case too gets all like yeah. more, more. But how does that happen? I don't I think, know. And it's hard to clean too. I think a lot of the time it's pocket scuzz. This is as okay. Well. But on the inside of it? I don't know. Mine are black too. So they, they show filthy. like white like fuzz and Jizz. like flakes and is that shit color like way? that. What? Colorway? I think I got it from Colorway, yeah. I think it's where I got it. They look good Ma black. Matt got him and he just like got- it. he got gray. Just- As opposed to just way. the white ones? I know, right. It just seems seem like worth the effort to go through. You want to get that, off white. That's a mad thing to do. <laughs> right? That is a very mad thing I to do. I feel like if I got them in any color, I'd want them to match my ear color. Get, oh, wow, that's gross. <laughs> yeah. That's like a Cronenberg movie. <laughs> yeah, these like flesh-colored dolls. Yeah, wrapped like, in skin. Do you ever see Existence? Yeah, that's exactly, like, what I was exactly about. yeah, the same kind of thing. But I will tell you this, Sophie, uh, I was <laughs> just spent the weekend in LA, went to the uh, uh, Television Critics Association with Sophie, uh, where I was on a panel with uh, a bunch of other animation companies. Warner Brothers Animation, Crunchyroll was there, TBS, Adult Swim, and uh, we're talking about Genlock and stuff. But before I got there, Sophie was there. She was kind of like doing the on the boots groundwork, and uh, on the ground. On the boots? On the boots? Did I say on the boots? <laughs> boots on the ground? Boots on the ground. Thank you, Barb. All the leg work. Up the boots. On the boots. On the boots. Work time. That'll be my <laughs> other next profession. Sophie wore boots. <laughs> what she color were walking. the boots? Were they, were they gray? <laughs> she were was wearing leather boots. Then what? <laughs> That was the stupidest way to say that. <laughs> that was unbelievably stupid. <laughs> I'll be thinking about that when I fall asleep tonight, I'm sure. The, uh, but Sophie, she uh, put this tweet out. She got an Uber, and the Uber driver said to her, How old are you? And she said, I, I, however old she is, I don't remember. It's in the tweet. Why did she even answer that question? I know. Yeah. Shut up, dude. The, 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 fuck off. The Uber driver goes, Got any kids? She goes, No. She goes, and the Uber driver said, Well, you better start having babies soon because you're running out of time. You have another two years left. She's like, Fuck you. And I wanted to be back at her, I didn't, but I told her later, I said, here's exactly how that conversation would work with me. I would get in the car, the guy would say, how old are you? And I would say, oh, I'm on a call. Like, I just keep my AirPods in, <clears throat> it's one of the best features of them, keep them in, and I just point and say, oh, I'm on a call. Are you, co it's okay if I take a call in your car? Do you mind? And they always go, oh, no, 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 sure, yeah, go ahead, and then turn on the music. And then I sit there, and I will listen to music, and then every two or three minutes, I just go, I listen. I don't care what Bob said. Q3 is looking like shit, and he's got to he's got to match what he said he was gonna do. We go through forecasts for a reason, and then like some some random business comment like that every five minutes. I wouldn't and I'm buy good. that. Why would you be talking about Q3 and Q1? You'd be talking about Q2 or Q4. We end our fiscal year at a different time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I would have handled it. Ask me the question. Uh, hey, how old how old are you? <laughs> Is, and I just don't have to, the whole Uber ride. I realize I don't have to do anything. No one talks to me. No one ever talks to you me. You put out that air of I get in, I'm like, hey. And I sit down and no Best Uber no ride driver. ever. It's amazing. Really? Yeah. 
But if, anybody, if, you don't get they Uber drivers if, who recognize you from slow mo guys videos. That's happened. But usually, if if I get anything, it's one question. I'll just give a one word answer, and then it's game over. Dude, Uber drivers they talk way too much. I had an Uber driver in L.A., and he said uh, he was telling me all about how he does security and runs security business. And I'm making up a celebrity here. I'm just gonna pick one at random. He said, like, I used to do uh, security for Mandy Moore. And I go, oh, that's cool. You did Mandy Moore, huh? And he goes, yeah, it was security for her for a really long time, like, do concerts and stuff like that. And then he tells me exactly where she lives. <laughs> like, it was it was less like than 30 a, seconds. Address? Like, what part of town? is like, you ever go down this, uh, I don't want to say, well, I'll make something up. You ever go down the road that's, like, in the canyon, you know, between the hills when you're going up to Burbank, you're down through the canyon? I go, yeah. He goes, like, the third left in there, that's her house right there. Like, do you think like, really? gave me directions to her house. Do you think really this guy is just a stalker and likes to By talk like, about All that was made up. It was not, neither yeah, yeah. Mandy Moore. It was all hypothetical. And Mandy Moore doesn't live there. It was Jody Foster. I don't know. There I'm not going to say who it was. But he did tell me the person exactly where they live. Do you think that this person is just obsessed with this celebrity and is a stalker and knows where they live and pretends to be has, has this delusion about working security? Yeah. I have no idea. Or just likes to talk about them yeah. and how they know them personally. I don't know, but I was like, dude. Weird. What are you? What are you? What are you doing here? Why are you talking to me like that? It's creepy. Uh, but I noticed that it would be you're fun like, game hey, to change my address to there. <laughs> Let's take a ride. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, just, I'm, her, I'm her new bodyguard and just pull a gun on the dude. But uh, I, it'd be a fun game to play. Is like I, when you're in an airport and you hear someone or on an airplane. <clears throat> always when people are boarding, they will have they'll be on a call. All business conversations, when you only hear one side, they all sound exactly the same. Exactly the yeah. same. They're, they're all exactly the fucking same. Something about Q2 or Q3. Right. Right. Always contract, you know. We're yeah. going to get in there. guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> they don't guy, know what the hell they're talking about. That guy's an idiot. Yeah. Listen, I got the report. It's like, we're, it's like we, we got to do something about this. Mm -hmm. It's just disappointing. Fiscal. I don't care. Get them all on the phone. They're always also get them on the phone. Always working on a spreadsheet on their laptop. It's always a spreadsheet. And they're always wearing a very ill fitting suit. What is that? I don't know. There's always, or there's always a personal laptop who has a presentation where they're going to present some kind of medical device. <laughs> yeah. Always like, or like did, didn't water. an Assassin's Creed game get leaked like that? Did it really? Like some marketing person was working on an Assassin's Creed uh, PowerPoint on a flight and the Holy person shit. behind them like took photos of their screen. <laughs> I'm, I might just start using a laptop with fake business on it just so oh, I can fit in. Could, could, let's make a YouTube video of fake business that's just like... Five hours of working in an Excel spreadsheet, <laughs> and you can play it and full screen it and make it look like you're doing stuff. I love it. Let's do that. Five, five hours of fake, fake business. business. You could pay, people could put it on at their offices at work, so it looks like they're working, but they're just really like moving the mouse around. That has to exist already. <laughs> well, they got the the hacking thing where you just like hit the keyboards and it makes all this code, like you're coding super fast. <laughs> yeah. Just do that for like an hour and a half straight on an airplane. I'm looking it up. <laughs> fake <laughs> business. Fake business for flight. See, it should be different lengths of video for different flights. Fake like Austin to LA video. Flight. Whereas the people who sit next no. to me on a plane, if they're looking at me, I get out my phone or my tablet and I load it up and then I load Instagram and it's instantly like Jessica Negri's butt. <laughs> and it's like, I, I'm immediately like, swipe, 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 swipe. Every time, every time I get on a fucking plane, I feel like it's the same Jessica's way. right at the top of my feet. Where you're welcome, like, by the way, if you're sitting next to me, you're welcome for seeing Jessica's butt. Yeah, I always forget who I follow on Instagram. Right. Always, and on Twitter too. Like I'll be like, you know, Trump's tweeting and there's April O'Neil's vagina. <laughs> Just zoomed in. Oh, what are you, okay, go away. What, what are you doing? You following porn stars? I follow some porn stars. Really? Do you really? Well, people I've met. Yeah? Yep. You could just mute them. Why would I want to not see vagina? <laughs> <laughs> but then he wouldn't be able to see yeah. the vagina. What's the point of following them? Right. Uh, here, I want to read this. Uh, I want to remind everyone, this episode of the Casper! Receipt Podcast is brought to you by Casper. Casper is a sleep brand that continues to revolutionize its line of products, create an exceptionally comfortable sleep experience one night at a time. Casper's mattresses are designed by humans for humans. The original Casper mattress combines multiple supportive memory foams for a quality sleep surface with just the right sink and just the right bounce. Casper's breathable design helps you sleep cool and regulate your body temperature through the night. Buying the Casper is easy. You can order online. It's delivered to your door in a compact box and you have free shipping and free returns to the U.S. and Canada. Uh, you know, I've talked about Casper for a long time. I really love it. Um, it's hands down my favorite mattress I've ever owned super comfortable and considering we spend one third of our lives on a mattress it's so important to truly sleep on a mattress before committing that's why Casper gives you 100 nights to try it out you can get $50 towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com slash RT and using promo code RT at checkout uh, also act fast to take advantage of Casper's President's Day offer between now and February 19th save 10% off any mattress purchase if you visit casper.com 
Additional fees may apply for Hawaii and Alaska. Terms and conditions apply. That's $50 towards select mattresses by visiting casper.com slash RT using promo code RT at checkout and 10% off any mattress purchase for a special Casper President's Day offer until February 19th. Terms and conditions apply. Thank you, Casper, for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. Apex Legends is overrated. It's a great game. No, it's overrated. Why I is, it, is it because you're bad at it? That's like 95% of the reason why yeah. it's overrated. You gotta watch Alfredo play that game. See, it, it's it's like we're genetically different. <laughs> yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. Isn't he like top 10 in the world or something crazy like that? That's Siege, right? The Siege is uh, the one where he Siege ranks Siege is very good at Siege, he's good at... He's but good at everything. Apex Legends is, is great. It's super good. It, it, yeah, I thought you would like it because you always complain that PUBG was too slow. It was 30 minutes of slow, 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 I'm dead. This is just super fast. I you can play about PUBG, but go. I like PUBG. I like PUBG too. I miss... I like PUBG. I, I like the slowness part of PUBG. I don't think Apex Legends is a replacement for me for uh, PUBG, but Apex Legends is a fucking I feel like great PUBG game. Is the biggest problem I have, I'm just going to keep talking, I'm not going to get a word in. The biggest problem I have with Apex <laughs> Legends is that you can't play solo. You have I was to be just about to say that. in a group with three people. I bet that that's a huge though, right? problem for you. It's a huge problem for You me. just can't pick, like, support types if you're solo, I guess. There'd be no Yeah, you, I mean, you really don't need that that much. Can you lock it so you're not in a squad? No. But you never would do that in that game because... Squads are not just you can't they you don't could, they don't there's no attrition, right? It's like a squad survives They probably revive everybody in the squad, mm -hmm. which I kind of like that. That's that's kind of a cool <clears> mechanic <throat> from a squad perspective But I do like the fact of like look at this shit. Look at him. He's just Everyone else's bullets. He's like well, I, I could get down by him. But I just won't I just damn. ignore him God damn he this is like I wish I knew a what spree I was of watching. kills look at his feed look at the kill feed It's all him all of that <laughs> And then he doesn't say a word. He's just like, hmm. To me, I'd be freaking out at that point. I'd be shitting myself. I'd right. Be like yelling, bouncing off the walls. That's just a normal Thursday night. God damn. Him. Yeah, he's really fucking good at that. I'm not Bro. very good at it. And I admit that I'm not good at it. Here's the problem. <clears throat> I didn't know the fucking game was coming out. Barbara, we started talking about it before the uh, podcast today. Barbara had my reaction, which was like, what is that? It's like, it's just this game they just put out. They just, they just dropped it. Yeah. Like, I haven't heard anything about it. Up until people started playing it. That's because nobody had. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they marketed yeah. it at all. They just released it and were like, here you go. Yeah. It's insane. Good. And uh, they I had like a crazy, been crazy <laughs> positive reception, tons of people playing. It, um, it made me install Origin, which is a huge mm. piece of shit. John, John texted me. He's like, <laughs> hey, this is my username on Origin. Uh, what's yours? And I told him what mine was. And I was looking at it and I was like, huh, I guess he's not going to send me a friend request. <laughs> and I was like, so I, I messaged him. I was like, hey, uh, are you going to add me? I was like, Oh wait, here buried in the menus. Here where the friend requests are. Like, there's no notification, nothing. It's like oh. I, you have to hunt through to find where they are. I have an Origin account to play The Sims. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, Sims is in my library yeah. too. I used to play the shit out of The Sims. Me too. Loved it. I, 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 I played it last time, and my character, <laughs> my Sim I was working on, died um, of old age. Like, I mean, it just happened way faster than I thought it was going to. Yeah. Like in the the original Sims, they lasted a good long time. It'd like be you, an could, adult you could max group. everything out. Weeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it just falls off. But this Apex Legends is I here's what happened. I didn't have time to fucking play it when it came out. Everybody jumps on, everybody's playing it. I show up a week later, it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, you but you PC? do like the matchmaking will put you in with low level players. <laughs> no, like uh, bullshit. You bullshit. PC or what? PC or console? PC. Play on PC, make yourself feel good about it. You'll get some kills because people are worse on there. And then go to PC. You said well, play on PC and then go to PC? Play on Xbox first. <laughs> Why? <laughs> really? Play on Xbox? Console game is a... I mean, it's easier on console. It is, I guess it would be easier, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. But it's like, I'm at the point though, Gavin, where it's like, I just don't know anything. And I like all the attachments and everything. But I'm like, okay, here, we gotta loot, okay, loot this. It's like, what kind of ammo is this? Just take? pick it all it's up. Like, it's like an energy, and I got an energy ammo. Can I use that? Is that what, and then, well, and surely you were like that in PUBG when you didn't know what it anything is. was. I'm just in that weird learning curve. I've yeah. literally played like, <clears throat> four or five matches. I got it to like level six, and I had one kill. And I don't like that it shows everybody that. Yeah. I like, think I was level four before I got my first kill, and yeah. I, had, I had two kills. Well, I fucking kill people, and then I don't get credit for a kill, because apparently they don't die. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta finish them off. But I do finish them off, but then they get revived, and the squad survives. So mm. you gotta kill the whole squad. Mm. Like, what counts as a kill in that fucking game? I think it's when their banner is retrieved. When their banner's retrieved? I think so. What does that mean? Is that, that right? a kill? Right? I have no idea. a kill if you... Idea. Because if they go down like, and then they die and then they don't get revived. I'm the ghost girl. I shoot the robot in the face. The robot goes down. 
the robot, I go, fucking take this robot, and I shoot it a bunch of times on the ground. And it falls and turns into a box. Right. That's a kill. But I think it's it's banner what kind is still of game is this? Its banner is still visible to their teammates, and they can come grab its banner and then take it to uh, a place to. But they only have them. a minute to do that, right? So if that expires, then you've killed them. Yes, surely. I think so. Surely you've killed them if they died. Yes. What? <laughs> it's a good game. It's really good. You should play it. It is good. It's fun. It's I never played than Overwatch. PUBG. I think that's what I'm missing out on with this. I never, a lot of Overwatch. never played Overwatch. I well, intentionally like classes, skipped Overwatch. The classes aren't as important as they are in Overwatch. They're yeah. pretty fucking important. You get all the supers and all that shit. Yeah, but think about like playing as Mercy in Overwatch. You can't really do a ton of damage. Yeah, so you just don't don't reference the thing I don't know anything about. The healer in Overwatch <laughs> is kind of like leeches onto people. You heal them, give them shit. Doesn't do a ton of damage. But in those are the characters I like. A, in in like, the new one, yeah, you can be a you can be lifeline and still get some fat kills. With the powerful gun. Yeah, you, you're not restricted to your weapons, right? You can still use any weapon. Yeah, it's just your abilities are healing focused. Also, every weapon's the same. Sorry, what? Every weapon is the exact same. No, every weapon's the same. No, it's not true at all. Yeah, it's very true. Very, uh, not they certainly true. all look the same. They look similar. <laughs> they all look. They're all these. I'm having to learn a bunch of letters and numbers. Right. They're all these fucking boxes, and then they, they have the same sight on them. And then... I picked up a gun. It was called the tr try something. It's like a kind of long the try hard range thing, and it shoots three bullets in a horizontal line. What? That's like nothing. That's that's pretty. I've unique never to seen me. this gun. Oh, okay. I have played five matches, and I've never seen. It shoots gun. green stuff. <laughs> so it can't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wingman pistol. No idea what's different than that. Good from the pistol. Other pistols. It talks you up. It gives you, <laughs> you a real confidence boost. Yeah. yeah. Every time you fire it, it's like this dude's great, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a relationship. He's got a huge dick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, everybody likes this guy. <laughs> well, he's talking about your other gun. If I was single, I do. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's like there's not enough real guns. It's like there's a lot of pistols, mm. and then you know, there's not, there's not in PUBG. There's some pistols. But you could you can go through like two houses. You got a AK forty seven. PUBG is a clunky mess, <gasps> and I love it. It's so good though. On PC, it's scrappy and it's ugly. No, up close, it's garbage. No. When's the last time you played? Oh, probably a year. Yeah, and a half they've, ago. They, there's been a lot of polish on. There's been a lot of polish done on it. All right, I'll give it another go. I've been. I've been it's, I'm. It's very different. I enjoyed Blackout more than I enjoyed PUBG. Just try it again. PUBG's still really good. Right. I would like Fortnite <clears throat> if it didn't have the building. I would love to get I would love to get into a, a version of Fortnite where you can select no building. Just a straight up battle royale. I hate all the buildings. So just be night? Yes. Night night. It would just be night. Night night. You go to bed. Just be night. Shoot them up night. Whoever whoever can go to sleep the fastest. Do Americans way. even understand the Fortnite pun? Because you don't oh. use the the name you don't use Fortnite in a regular sentence. Whereas Not typically. British people constantly say Fortnite. Oh, well, I, I would ask most people if you say, why is the game called Fortnite? They wouldn't even be able to tell you why the game is called that. Can you tell me why Fortnite is called Fortnite? Well, because it was a game about zombies that come at night and you have to build forts. You build a fort, right? You build a fort, but in normal conversation, night. Fortnite is two weeks, which is why the pun works. Correct. Is it, is why does it work for two weeks? Related to the it doesn't game? work for two weeks. It's just if a Fortnite is a thing. Yeah, it's just a word. It's two weeks. It's just a word. Yeah, yeah. I think people in America know the word Fortnite. Okay. I mean, I just I, mean, don't, I never hear it here. I never say see you in a Fortnite. Common word. Like if I like it'd be like me going over to the UK and saying, "Do you all even know what a cheeseburger is?" <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's a word. We fucking heard it. We've all read. Yeah, but people in England always eat cheeseburgers. Yeah, do people in England talk about a fortnight? I'll see you in a fortnight. Yes. No, they don't. Yeah, I don't ever say two weeks. <sighs> like oh, it was like fortnight ago. Really? <laughs> You're lying. I You're don't lie. I don't say it that much. You're lying. It, it was mainly. Do you speak in iambic pentameter too? <laughs> see you in a fortnight. My parents would constantly say that. Why, why would you only see your parents every two weeks? They wouldn't say it to me, you bastard. They'd say it just in general. <laughs> see you in a fortnight? It's a lot of weird shit that British people I can't do. Think of anybody, I'd I'd say I'll see you in two weeks. Yeah, like it's it, on, on another one. I never hear here. Make any sense. See you Thursday week. Thursday week. Okay, that's like March five March. I got whenever I send mail to the UK, I've always got to like change the way I structure my dates. No, fuck that, because you finally have to say them in order. <sighs> Correct order. Gavin, stop it. But how do you say the? Do you say March fifth? I'd say the fifth of March. Fifth of March. That's so many more words. I don't know. I don't know what I say anymore. I've been here for seven years. Yeah, you're not really British anymore. Almost to the day. Valentine's Day, right? 
Well, the day before is when I arrived. When you picked me up from the airport. I did. Picked and we up. went out for Bev. That so, was my first time driving to the airport, and I uh, went to the loading zone instead of the I actual I did not airport. come out uh -oh. of the loading zone. I, uh, so you did slum a world, but you didn't get kicked out of the country. Like, that's always a concern you've got every time you leave the country. But you had to leave the country a lot for slum a world. Was that a planet slum Yeah. <laughs> Don't slow mo up. I say slow mo. Slow -mo the <laughs> I spelled it with no W too. Slow -mo. The, sl the slow mo world. Slow mo world. Slow -mo. I can't Planet believe -mo. I've been at Rooster's Beak for seven years. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. The I roosters. got to name your show wrong. <laughs> sorry. Planet Red slow mo. Blue. You went a lot of different places. Yeah. And yeah. you came back every single time, and they didn't. Did, was it a was it a hassle every time? Well, I get secondary screening and interviewed every time I come in. But it's you never real. worry about like you're not going to make it. No, I worry about I'm always going to miss my connecting flight. Shit. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of an anus. Mm. Sucks. We're, we're talking about anniversaries. Uh, I just passed an anniversary with Bernie the other day. We've <clears> known <throat> each other for 21 years you now. You keep bringing this up, but I feel bad that I don't yes. recognize this. So if a baby f popped out the day you met, it's, they can drink now. They can drink now. You don't recognize it because you were just given an employee orientation. Yeah. Like you were given an orientation to like 10 people, and I was one of those people but in I the room. I guess I can remember my start date Gus remembers there. the moment he saw you. What, what year was that you started? 98? Yes, sir, they're 93. Dude, I've had a fucking job for way too long. Wait, what? Four. 93? What, you did what in 93? That's where I started the job that I had before this one. I worked <laughs> there for 13 years. I worked here for 16 years. That was before Friends was on TV. A little bit overlap. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I was four years old. It's 93 or 92. It might have been 92. I've had a job every day since I've been, since I was, basically since I was 16, but essentially since I was 18 with no gaps. Yeah, same for me, I've been employed but every single day of my life since 16. I was 18 years old. Although I was, I was freelance, so I, there were days where I didn't have a job. That's crazy. When are you going to retire? I don't know. When do you got any, got any ideas when I should retire? You want to go to prison for a bit? What day is today? <laughs> what time is it? I'll do that. But uh, I always, I've always, i always been fascinated, too, and like people would go without a job for extended periods of time. I remember Jason, after he left the telecom company, he went, well, like, 18 months, he didn't have a job. I'm like, how do you, what, how do, you do that? He said, I don't know how you do it. Mm -hmm. And he had saved up money, and he just like, took time off. Like, what? Is, what, what? I, yeah, I would be a nervous wreck. It probably was like four months, and I've like built it up to eighteen months, and you know, over time. You know? Hearing that makes me anxious, and for like I would freak out if I was in that position. I bet he was bloody loving it. I bet everyone sure. could use an extended amount of time off. Yeah, look at Jeff. Jeff got that sabbatical. It's changed his life. New man. New man. Half the man he used to be. No, nah. then lost that much weight. He's getting there. I didn't think Jeff needed to lose weight. And then he showed me a picture, and I was like, "Yeah, you need to lose weight." I didn't know that was. <laughs> didn't know that. You don't see the changes every day. Yeah. So yeah, he's lost a lot. Um, all right, it's almost time to wrap up here. You got anything else on your list? Me? Let me see. Good to go a little rapid fire here. I, I got something. I, re I read the other day. We talked about fish about water. About the loudest plane ever built. The U.S. military wanted to build a plane they could launch off of aircraft carriers without the catapult. So they built a, so just all thrust. a really fast propeller plane. At idle, the propeller would create con continuous sonic booms that emitted visible shock waves. Anybody nearby, regardless of ear protection, would get severe nausea, headaches, and it caused one man to have a seizure. Oh my god. Like, that's like a weapon, just fly that thing you low could, over you, shit. When it was uh, on the ground doing run-ups, like testing throttle, you could hear it from 25 miles away. So if you were just stood what? next to it, it would be like a constant barrage of explosions of sonic over and booms over again. you could see coming off of the propellers. Why would they make that? <laughs> they made two, and they decided it wasn't feasible. <laughs> I mean, could, that could seriously damage your hearing. Like, did anyone go deaf? I'm sure... Someone must have. Oh my god. Imagine piloting that thing. Is that footage of it or is it before camera? No, there's footage of it. And there's a sound? Yeah, it's awful. It's they, it, awesome. it was called the Thunder Screech. <laughs> sounds like a transformer. I was just about to say yeah. it's like a Decepticon. Thunder what do you got over there? Uh, Sea of Thieves is free this week. Play that fucking game. It's great. I always think one of the things I hate online is I hate reading when people say, I missed this or I missed that. It's like, stop missing stuff. Support stuff that you like. Try to share it with people and try to introduce it to other people. When you, when, there's got to be nothing more frustrating than when you worked on something and <clears> it what didn't succeed, but then you have to read for years. People going, I missed that. It's, yeah. like, it's like that does nothing for the people who worked their ass off on that thing. So you should take the things you like, even if they're not popular, and try to share them. And see if Thieves, I know a lot of people passed on it in 2018. It's a fucking great game. Well, because missing something is minimal effort. Like if they really missed it, they'd be playing it. Right, exactly. So it's you like, know, you can miss something, but... Take that with a grain of salt. They, right. It's just like casually like, oh, yeah. Yeah, come play Sea of Thieves with me. I don't want to miss this game. Like, I don't want to be in the year going, oh, I miss that. Because it's like if I have the ability to like share it with other people, go play Sea of Thieves. And there's something else I would say. Oh, the other thing too, 
Uh, I'm going to make a call right now. All right. What's the number? I'm going to make a call. Make it, I'm putting my foot down. Putting my, plant my flag. Here. Read recently, and there's been a lot of bloop, bloop, bloop online about Alita Battle Angel. You like, say uh, read it. Like online. Okay. He so read, read not, it. Oh, I read, read online. Not the, the website. I read online. Consumed it with your eyes. I believe Variety. Industry trade. Variety. Barb, it's Variety. Right. They said that it's going to lose $200 million domestically. Which, first of all, pff, nobody cares about that. If it makes money in China, it's, it'll be great. Which it probably will. <clears throat> um, they said it's going to be a big flop. It's going to lose $200 million. Something like that. I don't know. In this day and age. How the fuck you bet against James Cameron? Oh, how do yeah. You, how do you do that? How do you say, oh, it's going to be a flop? They, I mean, said, they, that they said that about Titanic. They said about Titanic. They said about Avatar. Film, yeah. They said the exact same thing. Oh, it's going to be a flop. It's, it's, a, it's a big, over-budget mess, you know? And it, sure enough, it was like, greatest thing I've ever seen when mm -hmm. it comes out. Titanic was number one they, for like 30 weeks in a they row. They made fun of Titanic so much. Like, he, they built, they rebuilt a replica of the Titanic, but they only built it 90% scale. Why not do the whole 100%? It was like a smear like, campaign. How like, much, uh, how many Oscars did Titanic win? Like everything. Wasn't it like and a, it, the record at the time? It was the biggest movie ever at yeah. the time until Avatar came out. It was like, oh, this thing is like a mess. No one's going to understand it. It's garbage. It's, he's been wanting to make this movie for years. <laughs> and now no one's telling him no. And he's made it fucking number one. Yep. Most money ever made. So. Yeah, Don't still, fucking count that shit out. It's not a good movie. What, have you, have you seen it? Avatar? Oh, uh, Avatar. No, oh, I think it's Alita. Uh, no, Avatar, I really like Avatar, but I do have to point out, Andrew Rosas, who's one of the writers uh, over, he's the guy, I, I fucking hate when this happens, he's the guy who's in the videos that everybody keeps thinking is me, because yeah. he's got a beard and a baseball cap, and it's just like, I feel, it happened to Miles, I hate when that fucking happens to people. But Andrew Rosas pointed out something really great. Try it right now with you guys. Avatar. Biggest movie ever made. Everybody here saw it, right? Some of you saw it more than mm -hmm. once even? Mm hmm Okay. Name one character. Jake Sully. Sam. Oh, no, that's the actor's name. That's got, you got, you're like the only person I've met who can name a single character from Avatar. Ask me to name a second. Can you name, you can't? No, I cannot. What is, what's the lady's name? Like, Nefiti or something like that? You got close. Nefiti? You got close. You've got... Yeah. Nefiri? Natiri. Natiri. You yep. got, uh... Yeah, just what's Sigourney I, Weaver's I just know Sigourney what's Weaver. The, what's the Doctor, villain? Doctor, Doctor. What's the the, uh, the jar-headed guy? Unobtainium. Like cable. <laughs> they should have. They should have that guy do cable. Yeah. Fern Gully. Yeah. So, uh, You're, I mean, it, we even got down to where he said, "Just name the main character's name." I was like, "I know this movie. His name is." And I just couldn't come up with. I, it took me a long time. Finally, came up with Jake Sully. Is it the actor's name? Who's Sam? Yeah, Sam, Sam Worthington. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Titanic won 11 Academy Awards. It was nominated for three more that it did not win. Gotcha. It won. And at the time, was sure. was 11 like the record? I think it tied the record. Yeah. You think time. Endgame's going to be up for for Oscars? Like, uh, are they going to do like they did with Return of the King? They're going to wait. Didn't Infinity War get nominated for a few? Like for uh, that Spider Verse did. Yeah. Hell yeah. When are the Oscars next weekend? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, they got nominated for Best Visual Effects for Infinity War. Nice. Best Visual Effects. Mm -hmm. I like to see that. Thanos looks good, man. I believe it's a person. That thing where he's uh, where they're on Thanos or Titan, and they've yeah. got him, and he's like ah, and they're really up close on his face. Looks good. Mm -hmm. looks I, really need, good. I need to see that movie again. You want to catch up to your seventeen times? Dude, I've seen this so many times. I fucking love that movie. And I'm doing a dumb thing. I've got it like on Xbox in my Microsoft movie library, but I keep watching it on Netflix, <laughs> which is lower quality. I should just watch it. I is it just, lower quality? Is it? Is Why that? would it be lower quality? I guess it's all streaming, but I, I like to think that. I can download stuff from the Microsoft Store, but I really can't. I can do it on my PC. Heavily compressed. I can do it on my PC. Mm. All right, don't All go right. oomph to me like that. Let's do a side well, by I mean, side. We'll right. do a comparison. You really want to? You really want to see the difference or like see what it could have been? Go back and watch some of the post credit scenes where Thanos is in those. Oh yeah, not, <laughs> yeah. yeah not, not good. It doesn't look good. Yeah. Where it's like a completely different actor as well. Looks, yeah, looks like a raisin. Yeah, they 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 improved big it. fat teeth. Big fat raisin. All right. He also pulls Infinity Gauntlet out of like a glove box. <laughs> He's like, I'll do it. Where else would stuff. you keep a glove? If once I if I made the Infinity Gauntlet, I would just wear it from that point on. Well, without the stones, it's kind of gaudy, right? Just I'm getting ready, Gus. I keep my glove in a gauntlet, glove box. What an idiot! Like a glove. All right, fuck off. All right, so <laughs> why, do glove, why do I call it a glove compartment? Thanks for watching, Bye. everybody. Who's driving a glove? Bye. While you keep your gauntlet. You guys are assholes. What are we doing, Eric? We. You have to say twenty seconds, like, hey.
Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and 20 subscribe. 20 seconds, Eric. We, we have to do it within 20... Okay, Eric says to like, comment, and subscribe for this video. And watch more videos. And watch more videos. Keep watching more videos. What happens if when I'm talking, I pull the plug out of this? And it's, and it's like, save your, save your watch, save your watching YouTube, and you saw our video, and at some point, some